All right. Hello, everyone. It's Farrick, and welcome to day seven of the Wizard 101 on a budget walkthrough series. Now, for those of you watching this on YouTube, I do stream this live Monday through Thursday, including Saturday at from 2 to 4 p.m. at twitch.tv slash Farrick. And let's get started. So I just really quickly wanted to shout out Kip Klop. Thank you so much for being the very first sub on the channel. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. You've been immortalized as the very first sub on the channel. I do have subs open. Remember, if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch and you get a free subscription to any channel. Thank you, D Deity Bluckhob, for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Jacob Bia, so much for the Twitch Prime subs. Thank you so much. Sub emotes are coming soon. I sent one in. It's It has to get approved. Um, I did just enable this. Oh my goodness. There we go. We got notifications on too. Thank you. Thank you, Kale Not Kale, for subscribing with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. We already got a hype train going. We got a scam train going. Thank you so much. I'm super excited because today we officially start the real grind with questing because we have the Colossal Frog spell. We have a decent pet and things are going to go a lot better today welcome adrian thanks you made it on time there we go all right let's let's get started let's just jump right into it thank you so much for, for all the twitch primes thank you thank you i'm super hyped for today let's just try not to have any professional streamer moments today we finally got a stream last time with no professional moments. Let's try to keep it up. Let's see if we can get a two stream streak with this, this pro streamer moments. All right, so we got Wild Sunbird. And I just want to make sure my deck is set up properly for this. So, okay. All right, let's just jump right into it. All right, so. I forgot to check how much health he had. How you doing, Poppy? How you doing, Amber the Wizard, Blaze Tate? It's Ozzy. Will I be using the Waterworks glitch? We'll see about it. The thing with the Waterworks glitch is that um, there have been like large content creators that have already made videos on the glitch, um, and I'm like 99% sure King's Isle has seen them, but it's just such an old dungeon at this point that. I think King's Isle just might not like patch it, so I'll see. I'll have to see though, um, because I don't want to like make a video about it and then it gets patched because people have been using it for a while. And honestly, I think it's, I think it's an. I'm okay with using that glitch. Like, if people use it, I think it's fine personally. Spiral Showcase is up for a free Professor's Horde pack. Yo, I have to check that out. All right, after this, I'm actually gonna check. So I did get the, the pet promenade up to this right here, which is great. So. Can I friend you on my myth? Finally got the malice zero. Sure, if I, if I see you while I'm questing, then if you just send me a friend request, if I have friend space available, I'll definitely add everyone. Um, but I am, I am starting to run low on friend space, so yeah. All right, this right here is why we do include the dark sprite now, so. What school do I think needs to be buffed? Um, I think for PV, like, I think Myth needs a little bit of a buff because, like, their struggle to quest in PvE sometimes, like, if you're doing it solo, and in PvP, like, I feel like their spells just need a little bit of a buff, and I think they actually are getting a huge buff to one of their shadow spells, so. Alright. So I, I am hoping I can get the the Crocotopian Death Kaftan. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, but yeah, Twitch is being really buggy right now. So let's talk to the Arena Master. Yo, thank you, Penguinizers uh, 920 for the Twitch Primer. Thank you so much. Wait, did I say the Sunbird? All right, time to defeat some ice weavers. Spiral showcase, that's right. I, I totally said that I was going to do it and I completely forgot. Well, Remo, I'll check after this battle. 
I'll try to do both things after this battle, actually. Mystic Colossus is going to remove shields before hitting. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. Like, that's going to be a huge buff. Now, like... Now, because, like, before, it was safe to double shield against Myth. Because, like, even though they had Orthrus and Minotaur, you could all you had to do was shield twice. And, yeah, like, that, that was still, like, a big thing to, like, have to shield twice against them. But... Now you're literally not safe. Now if you try to shield stack to try to counter Orthrus, if they have a Shad, they're just going to Mystic Colossus you. So... But yeah. Right, we're going to pass one turn. And this, this spell right here is going to help us speed through some of these worlds. Yeah, the damage is going down, which... Honestly, like, the school that it nerfs the most with that, or the the type of PvP, at least, that it nerfs the most is Exalted Myth PvP, because um, Exalted PvP is actually, believe it or not, very popular, and I know some Exalted Myths that are, like, really, really high rank, and that's gonna be, like, a blow to them, because they use their 6-pip Shadow Spell as, like, a high damage hit for low pips, so... They won't have that. Scarecrow needs a buff. Um, I think like in general, like death drain spells should have a little bit of a buff. Um, oh, this is a regular Crocotopian Kaftan. I was hoping I'd got the death one. All right, I'm gonna go to Vampire Realm. So, um, if I do see you, you can add me. Um, but I will not accept. Uh, I will not accept any help because I am trying to. Do this solo as much as possible. If I run into a random person that just happens to be on the quest, I'm okay with it. And for dungeons like Waterworks and, you know, the hard dungeons, which, like, you know, are, like, soloing would take forever, I'm obviously going to go with people that are also trying to get the gear, so, yeah. And I totally forgot to check the... I totally forgot to check the... The thing again. The Spiral Showcase. Let's check it right now while we're in battle. So, catch a fish... Feed pet snacks, daily assignments, craft an item. Okay. Here, I'm gonna cast a spell and like while I'm waiting, check it out. Oops. All right. So the final reward, professor's hoard pack. How many points? 500 point reward. So this is going on for six days. It looks like you can do get 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. So you can get 100 points per day. So. Yeah, I actually don't even have to do all of these in order to get it, as long as I do something every single day, so... You can still get to the pack without fishing, so, yeah. Because I feel like fishing is going to be the, one of the harder things now that, like, fishing is gone. Uh, feeding a pet snack, I'm definitely going to do that, because I do have that new gloomy eye. I will train that as well during this stream. Um, I just want to start off with a little bit of questing, because I feel like I always start off with, you know, grinding something, and I feel like that's less interesting when I start off like that, so. But yeah, I will be continuing to get things like parchment, because I do want to do the crafting quest as I go. So if I get eight more parchment, I'll be able to craft the two, what is it, rings of insight. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, puny foreigner versus Crag Stone Chin. Who will fall first? Just watch. Okay, I do want sunny. this parchment, but I also don't want to get pulled. There we go. All right. The arena master said that after I smash you, I get to have spider eyes. I like spider Thank you, Plugs Cat, for following. Thank you, Trashy oh, Nifa, for following. Oh my goodness, you. thank you for the bits. Zenroik, thank you so much. Congrats on 2k subs. No way. Did I really hit 2k subs? I was at like I was at like 1.9 or something like that before the stream. Let's check it out. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, it doesn't show it on there, but when I go to my dashboard here, I'm actually going to show you on display capture. One second. YouTube.com slash Farrick.
I think I think we hit 2k subs. Thank you. Oh my goodness, dude. I think it was literally like a week ago where we hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much, everyone that subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it says 1.99k. Um, when I like. If you're the owner of the channel, you can like go into like YouTube studio page and it shows you like the actual live like updated so um and it says like 2003 subscribers so Thank you Trig4 for the tier 1 sub. Thank you so much. Welcome. By the way, um I hope you like the uh I don't know if it I don't know if it lets you see like what the different um the different subscription things are, but like uh, I, I like made them like different colors for like the different like amounts and like I also did apply for like an emote you get one emote to start off with but it just it has I have to wait like f up to 48 hours for it to be approved so for a second I thought you were talking about Twitch subs nah YouTube subs you, by the way uh, for those of you that are not subscribed to my youtube channel it's completely free to do that that's different from it's like it's like following someone on twitch uh basically if you if you subscribe to me on youtube it's free and uh if you enable notifications basically you get notified of when i upload future content so yeah did it just pause for everyone oh no please don't tell me i'm having issues again Okay, we're good, we're good. No, all right, it's working all right? All right, sounds great, thank you. Let's see how much health do these have? I think I wanna finish like one area before I go on to questing. What realm? Um, I think it was like vampire or something. Am I doing all the side quests? I'm only gonna be, so for now, I'm only going to be doing the important side quests. Um, but like, you know, something that I could do like in the in the future, in like the distant future for this series is like, you know, have one of my wizards just do all the, all the side quests just to see how long it takes. Or I could do that as like a video idea or something. Am I enjoying this? Yeah, so I, I think it was like, a, it was a little bit like, grindy at the beginning and like i was also um thank you slay gamer for the tier one gift sub thank you the tier one sub to nasheron cheese thanks for the five bits of you're right in front of me oh this is you all right i'll add you Life captain. Okay, I still want. I still really want the death one. Cause let me check the gear sets. So, um, oh no, the wrong gear set. Uh, it has to be this one. So let's see, adjustments. Yeah, we get four percent death damage, and then the robe itself also gives a little bit of damage. So that'll be like a pretty good boost if I can get that. All right. So actually, I leveled up to level eighteen. So I do have a spell quest. Uh, I think I'll actually go to do the spell quest. Let me mark a location. This time, uh, hopefully not accidentally mark a location in Old Town to replace it, like I did yesterday. Um, let's talk to Dwargan. Yeah, I have the hat and the boots for the Kaftan set. 100 viewers already. We're 18 minutes in and we already hit 100 viewers. Thank you to everyone that uh, joined the stream. Um, for those of you that don't know, um... I do have it down in the FAQ section on what we're doing. Uh, we are playing on a brand new account, trying to play without buying any crowns, only memberships, and trying to do everything. But for now, we're focusing on questing this wizard. Hello, Let's see what quests we have. I heard that Professor Winthrop from Marleybone found some death artifacts in a pyramid in Krakatoa. Right. Level 18 is curse. That's really good, actually. Like, the best way to increase your damage for hits is by using like using different buffs. 
not necessarily using high buffs, but using different buffs. So like using two different 20% traps actually increases the damage by a larger amount than just using one 40% trap. So like having that extra 20%, like once I get to bosses that have a lot more health, it will help us. So happy late birthday. Thank you, KBix. Yeah, 1.44. So it would be like a it would be like a 44%. So two 20% traps would be like one single 44% trap. Just started watching your Wiz content. Glad I was able to catch the stream. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Waffles. And thank you for joining as well. Yes. The death artifacts. I have studied them closely and have made Alright, so it looks like we have to go back to, to Wizard City and, and then also the Crocotopia Library. City. So congratulations on Twitch Philly. Thank you, Pyroferic. Death Captain drops from Hall Servants in Grand Arena and Hall of Champions. Okay, so uh I will be on the lookout for those. Uh I might even do like a couple extra battles just to unlock that, because that four percent damage is gonna be pretty nice to have. This is the infamous Pyrofaric. Yes. Professor Winthrop sent you? He needs his information distributed? I All right, I just, right just want to make sure I don't accidentally accept, much. like, unnecessary side quests, so... Yeah. Pyrofaric's the alpha version of Faric. <laughs> what secondary sh school should I go for as a balance? So... Um, if you have a life mastery amulet, actually no, because balance actually gets heals, so I would not suggest life, but for pretty much any school, having tower shield is really nice, especially if you're soloing the game. Um, then again, as balance, you also get like things like elemental shield. I guess, I guess this? still do ice up to tower shield, but, um, what you definitely do want to do is get death up till faint, because... Faint is like like plus seventy percent. That's the biggest like single buff you can give to, and any school can get that spell. So yeah, so tower shield and faint. And for me, I, I'm on a death, so I already get faint for free. But for any other school, pretty much your two main priorities for secondary schools, if you want to call it that, is trying to get faint and tower shield. And Seder, like. Honestly, like, I don't even recommend training life up till Seder unless you have a life mastery. And even then, like, I feel like you, the treasure card Seders are just better. They give, like, 130 more. So. It appears that those death artifacts have some new powers I was not aware of. Is there a way to get school amulets without crowns? So, yeah. Um, if you want the any level school amulets, you can get them from the Tower of the Elephant, any of the two bosses in there. And you can also get it from the two Waterworks bosses. Luska or um, the other guy. Dwargen will go to Nightside, near where Mortis stands. There, you will be contacted by a scarecrow. He will give you the dark grimoire. After that is done, take locate it Scarecrow near Mortis. Dwarven. Thank you, Don't Zenroy, for another 100 bits. Are you going to do side quests in lines like Nightside and the underwater place in Triton Avenue? So, um, I personally don't think the, the side quests there are worth doing. Um, if you want to, like, progress as fast if as possible. Well, so... Dark Scarecrow, we will have you as a spell at level 48. But yeah, I'm, for side quests, I'm only really going to focus on like the ones that I feel like will help us quest a little bit faster. There we go, we got Curse. So I'm going to have one of them in here just in case we start facing a boss with higher health. Um, but yeah. All right, time to go back to defeating Bort Mallotbane.
I can probably finish Croc today. We'll see. We'll see for sure. It, it would be great if I could finish Croc. Um, I think that is definitely possible now that I have this Colossal Frog spell. Um, you think I will give up all the fame anime at level 28. Yeah. You don't even have the showmanship to be a star like me. Really? You are no warrior. Dude, Freddy Nine Lives is going to be a struggle. I hate that battle. I remember doing it for the first time. I just spent like so much time trying to beat him. Your couch potato finally reached Elder, but you want more than half of them were dying. Uh, sorry to hear that, Jacob. Uh, to prevent couch potatoes from dying, so like you have to make sure that every time you enter your house, uh, when you see your plants, if they have needs, make sure that that little like yellow, it's, it should be on like the bottom right, right here for your gardening tab. But if that doesn't show up as like a healthy, like blue background with like a green plant, then that means your, your plants have needs. And if you leave your plants for, if you see your plants with needs and you leave them, then, and you come back a few hours later, they will start to wilt. So you have to be careful about that, but yeah. Hey Roy, how you doing? Thank you number six Nizumi Nizumi for following. Thank you C Dubs two thousand two for following. What are my computer specs? I should probably add that. Um, thank you tag. Thank you, Tag Laya Tail. Sorry, I'm. I have to get better at pronouncing names. I do apologize. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Um, my but yeah, my computer specs. Uh, I built this computer a couple years ago. I have it's it's nothing crazy. I have an i5 8400, a GTX 1060, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and then like. I have a, I have like a small SSD uh, for like my main games and then like a two terabyte hard drive for like videos and uh, other things. Now is no time to slow down. I'll get a tenure ready while you take on some suckery gouges. Go get a whiz. If I ever come to a point where I can't solo a boss, am I going to ask people for help? Um, definitely not a max wizard. Pro I'm going to try to find someone else that's also working on that boss. But I think I, I think I'll be able to, I think I'll definitely be able to solo uh, every single boss except for like the big dungeons. Um, and yeah, uh, Wolfie, I, I do not want uh, gifts because uh, this series I'm trying to play on the account without uh, buying crowns. Um, only buying memberships and if I was gifted things and it's, it's basically to help like newer players to show them like how they should or how I play how I think they should play the game um, so that they can like you know play it solo they don't need to like rely on other people and obviously receiving gifts um, like I don't think uh, I don't think a new player would be receiving a lot of gifts so What is it? Day six of the budget walkthrough coming out on YouTube. So, uh, it is already out. Uh, I uploaded it and unfortunately because of the four hour live stream that I did on Saturday and because of the issues I had with like, it took like, I think 12 hours for me to get that video out, uh, because it took forever to render it. And then there was like a problem with rendering. So I had to like do it multiple times, but, uh, because of that, it messed up my schedule where I, I tried to like upload the stream, like, no more than like three or four hours after I finish it. So because of that, I am a little bit behind on it, but because I take Fridays off for this series, hopefully by this Friday, I'll be able to catch up on the videos and they will match up with everything. Someone in uh, my video commented that the bosses stopped doing opposite school shields. I'm not sure if it was just the death bosses, but I hope this life boss right here doesn't shield. That would be annoying.
will I be farming Mount Olympus at level 30? Yeah, for sure. I think the Mount Olympus gear really carries you all the way until you get to like Dragon Spire. Or all the, actually, honestly, all the way until you get to Winter Tusk and not Winter Tusk. Yeah, actually, yeah, Winter Tusk. What's good? This is the first stream I made it to. Love the videos. Thank you. Thank you, Birba. Was it max out your first wizard? Are you going to utilize that second wizard to help this? Utilize that wizard to help the second wizard you make. Yeah, for sure. Like, probably the the one thing that I'm gonna really do is try to make a pet that can help me in like the beginning stages a lot easier. So, I should play without the mount too because newer players don't get them. It's a good idea if you show them how to save and make gold along the way and buy their own permanent mouth gold. So, actually, this is the seventh stream, and um, over over all the streams that I've done, I actually didn't like. I didn't have a mount for. Uh, one of the streams and I actually did gold farming and like I showed how I did gold farming during the limited time and it's actually 50,000 gold which is honestly not that difficult it, it doesn't take too long to get um, but like if people follow my uh, the fishing method in the arrow village then even if they don't have like the unlimited fishing event it's still a good way to get like if you do a couple of the first fishing quests to try to get the winnow spell at least um you can still even without the double fishing thing you can like work towards spending your energy towards fishing to get the mount a little bit faster but the this mount right here i got as uh, from the summer scroll of fortune uh the free thing so but yeah now we have to defeat kai amate the great yeah, Zeus gear carried me to Waterworks. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, like, I might not even craft Winter Tusk gear. If it becomes too difficult to quest without the Winter Tusk gear, then I might end up doing it. But I feel like, honestly, since it's only four level difference and the Waterworks gear does, is better, um, I might just skip past it and go for it. Yeah, Mount Olympus gear, yeah, I agree. I think it is definitely good to level 60. I love how ever since I got this Colossal Frog spell and the extra death blade, I haven't I don't even think I've used a single enchant. When the giveaway ends, so the giveaway actually ended uh this past Saturday. I think in the video I did announce that I was gonna draw it Saturday, June 27th. And if you check the description of that video, I also announced the winner. And I've already given the winner um his crowns. So Am I ever gonna stream Valorant? We'll see. For future games, I'll see if I I'll, f I'll stream future games. But for now, I just want to really focus on this series, um, especially like these this uh, like when you're in questing, like you really have to like put a lot of time into it. Um, when I get into things like once I'm maxed and I'm like just making pets, obviously things like that will I won't need like a full two hour stream just to show me training a pet for a day until my energy runs out. So. Don't know about the magical trivia? Yeah, I do. So I actually have been doing the magical trivia. Not every single day, um, but I have been doing it like on some days. And I got actually got the heart steal because it cost 260 crowns. So I did two, dra two days worth of trivia to get that. Um, so yeah. I'm doing your pet guide right now. I hope it works out for you well. In my experience, oh, whoops. I'll read your, your, your message in a second. All right, in my experience, Zeus gear drops so rarely I thought it might take too long for the series. Um, so I'm not gonna, so for by Mount Olympus gear, I'm not necessarily gonna, you know, try to get full Zeus gear. At the very least, I will try to get at least full Senator's gear. Um, because the senator's gear is not that much worse than the zeus gear but it's still way better than any bizarre gear you'll get till level 60 so and it's also not too difficult to get full senators because a lot of the the different bosses do drop it let me just quickly get this entrance hall beetle so hey macer and how you doing today With General Kaba and Kai Amate, wizard, by helping locked in the vault, we cannot afford for the touch to discover it now. All right, so I am going to be going into. I think this is the first dungeon um, that I have ever done. So we actually equip this new ring. This is better. 
Should I do a quick gear run before I go? No, I, th I think I should be good for this dungeon. Um, the gear line basically Mount Olympus, Waterworks, Malastare, Dragoon. Uh, so yeah, I feel like that's that's a, a good gear line to follow. Thank you, Tagliatail, for the 1500 bits. Oh my goodness. Hey, Farrick, I found your channel about a week ago. I hope, the, I hope these bits will help you during these troubling times. Thank you. Thank you so much for the bits. My I really do appreciate it. Welcome. I hope you're doing fine, too. Like, it is like these times are a little bit difficult, but um, I hope everyone's getting through them safely. And, you know, let's hope for the best and hope it ends quickly, you know? Um, that's right. I actually have to unlock all the different keys to get this. So. Yeah, and you, you can also, the trivia answers for every trivia are available online. And I personally think, like, it's perfectly fine to look up the trivias. Um, it helps you learn about the game. Because, like, some of the trivia questions for some of them are difficult. Like, even I didn't know them, so... But yeah, so Mount Olympus, Waterworks, Malastare, Dragoon. I'm probably also going to do one like zigzag run because uh, it would be nice to have one chance at the zigzag gear. Um, obviously, I think the damage and crit of it is really nice, but like if I get the robe specifically, it gives a mass death prism card, which normally isn't available till Avalon. So getting that would be really useful. When I'm a death wizard, I even have full mountain lips gear and I was fine to level 60. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it's like, once you get to level 60, it makes the game a lot easier. But I mean, since level 60 gear is so good, if you're able to make it to level 60 with Mount Olympus gear, I feel like it shouldn't be too difficult to make it without it. Because the Mount Olympus gear, it gives you, it doesn't give you any universal resist. It gives you damage, power pip, health, some accuracy, but... No universal resist, except for the hat, but it's like 1 or 2% resist for most schools. So. Oh, people are spamming uh, Valorant emotes. Dude, I love, I love Valorant. I really like playing CSGO, and then like, Valorant, just like the way they've like, pushed this game, like... I personally like, have really, really enjoyed it, so... Since I play CS, what is my opinion on Valorant? Um, oh, did I, get, I got weakness, so I probably can't kill here. Let me just... Um, so for Valorant, here's what I will say. Um, I think Valorant is one of the greatest things to happen for Counter-Strike. Because, and like, anyone that is like a diehard CS fan, and I am a diehard CSGO fan... Um, they should be really happy for Valorant coming out because if you look at Valve's response to what happened as soon as the game came out, they literally finally nerfed the, the SG, which was like, like a lot of people have been complaining about that gun for such a long time. And like a lot of quality of life improvements came to the game as a direct result, I feel, of the Valorant coming out. Stream on delay. Um, I don't have any specific delay on. There is obviously going to be like a couple seconds delay just because like, you know, it's not going to be instantaneous depending on how far away you are from me. But what level am I? I did reach level 18 recently. Your pet guide is foolproof, but it's very mega stack heavy. Yeah, I do agree. That's why in this guide, like, um, I'm going to be, uh, in this like series, I'm just doing like a beginner pet method. I am going to upload a future like beginner pet guide on how to get like started with a decent pet if you don't already have a good pet. So, what mic do I use? I use the Rode Pod mic. I probably should uh, add a gear list on the bottom. I think I do want a vampire just to get some health back. But actually, no. I can just use a potion. Maserin with the tier one subscription. Thank you so much. Maserin has been uh, posting. Maserin's also a Twitch streamer, by the way. I do recommend you check her out. Uh, she also streams Wizard 101. And um, she's been, like, on her Twitch channel, anyone that comes in, she's been, like, promoting my 
pet copying guide to everyone so thank you so much for doing that and like i really do appreciate it because i feel like i i feel like it's really useful for a lot of players to have um so can i rate your gear sure i'll do it in a second let me just make sure i focus here just a little bit so i got the myth one as well i still i still want to get the death one all right let's see uh okay snake moon bird sun snake moon bird sun all right one of the three locks broken that actually took a while i think like i, sh I probably should have spent around uh doing some more stuff and i also should probably I don't have many low pip hits, so I, I should probably include some of these spells just as weakness removers. So, like, I'll include Imp. And actually, Imp's a great idea because if someone life shields uh, before I prism, like, if it's a death boss that life shields before I prism, I can break it with an Imp. Um, time to move on to the next one. Let's check the map here. I did this one. I need to do this one, and then this one, and then I will unlock the Keeper of the Fang door. How to get the heart steal? So I, I did the daily trivia thing. You get 100 crowns per day if you do 10 trivias per day. And you start off the game when you create a brand new account with 75 free crowns. So after two days, I had 275 crowns. The heart steal is 260. So I bought it from the crown shop. Okay, this one's a death boss. So I will need a prism. Um, I, I should have probably also added a prism for the minion here. Yeah, he has 435 health. I, I might end up trapping the minion. Oh my goodness, I have to I have to seriously catch up with chat. I'm like so far behind. Thank you, Chris and Rose Thor, for following the stream. Welcome. I should do Earn's Crown videos since they're sometimes on, and I usually there are at least four, 40 to 120 crowns you can get. See, like, because I stream this series, I feel like I don't really want to, like, I feel like it wouldn't be entertaining to watch me watch a bunch of videos. Maybe I could do that off stream, but, like, Earns crowns is also kind of inconsistent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't really want to use that as a method to get some crowns. And I also don't want to rely too much on crowns either. Like even though I have the option to get some free crowns, um, I don't want to rely too much on them. The geometric shapes trivia is easy, yeah. Honestly, like I think they're easily, eight of, eight of the trivias are easy for pretty much anyone to do. And then all you have to do is, like, for t probably two of them, just, like, look up the answers. And um, once you do it for a while, then you, like, you might learn something new. But, like, if you do it over and over again, you end up getting used to it, so. Thank you, Ah5920, for following. Every time I do trivia, the Earns Crown tab says there's nothing there. Um... So make sure you're so you have to do it on the wizard 101 website now because they changed it but make sure you're logged into your account and like at the end it asks you to confirm it with cap like the captcha thing I'm actually running really low on health I, I probably should have packed both potions because I forgot actually wait there are health wisps so I should be fine Oh, that's walking towards me. One thing I will say about this mount is it's really difficult to see in front of me compared to the Proud Lion. Like, if I go to the Proud Lion, I can see so much. That mount is a little bit too big. But so I guess I'll, I'll still keep it on. But I'll, try, I'll just try to be careful. Actually, I forgot there's one more battle I need to do.
it's yeah it's not on the urns crown so yeah for the for the trivia so if it's not working for you it might be uh you might be trying the urns crown thing here um the one that's not working that's what i mean about the earning crowns through watching advertisements in game it's kind of buggy it doesn't work for a lot of people it doesn't work consistently but the trivia is something on the actual website that you can use Funny thing is that a pet is better than all the Zeus gear combined. That is, yeah, that is true. But like, a pet is also hard to get like early on. But I think the Zeus gear, like for the power pips sake, gives, like that's also pretty nice to have uh, for lower level. And honestly, the main thing with the Zeus gear is just the health boost. I should probably scroll down here and uh, try to, cause I'm sure there's been a lot more. Oh my goodness, I I should probably like read the, cause I'm reading like really old chat messages now. Um, why did it say I wasn't eligible by that? Um, not sure. Talking about Mason, Mason, the fishing king himself. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome. You're growing really fast. You're already number one for Wizard Water One in seven streams. Um, I like a lot of people like have been like asking me like you know. Like, how did you grow so fast? And I have to really like thank the Wizard101 Reddit community because like um, my very first video that I posted was a Couch Potatoes tutorial, like a 69 plot, because when I posted that, um, there actually weren't any good 69 plot large tutorials. There were tons of tutorials on how to do it for medium plots, but there were not many for large plots. So, uh, and then I posted it on the Reddit and like, People actually really liked it, even though that video was like 40 minutes long and stuff like that. And also people like like Maserin and like other people that just keep promoting my videos. It's it's like all thanks to everyone that, uh, you know, is just being amazing. I have to do fire, ice, and storm. Mason, you're late to the party. That's okay. You can come whenever. You can come 10 minutes before the stream's ending. I'll be glad to have you here. How's the questing going? It's going pretty well. It's actually going a lot faster now because I do have an AOE at a pretty low level. Thanks to my pet and I do have two different blades. Oh, the death captain also drops from the keeper of the fang boss in this dungeon. So yeah, let's hope I do get it. Let me just make sure I didn't already get it. I wonder, I could probably sell this gear for a lot of gold. Best school to solo with? In my opinion, it is death. Did I forget something? Did I forget? Which key did I forget to unlock? Here, I should probably scroll down to chat because... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll down really quick just to make sure I'm not. Um, I forgot a puzzle. Was it the second one or was it the third one? I know I did the first one, so I'm going to just skip past that one. I could have sworn I did the third one. Wasn't it just fire, ice, and storm? Second one, okay. All right, let's go back and do the second one. Come back from work at 1.30 just in time of the stream. That's lit, Kip Klop. I actually haven't worked in a few days. I'm going back to work tomorrow, though. Oh, I, I just completely skipped past this one. You're not wrong. It's looking like a professional stream today. Nah, we're trying to make it not a professional stream. Because I've had too many professional streams at the beginning, you know, where everything's messing up. But we have to become an unprofessional streamer and try to oh gotta love her this way is first first as well. I push it again or do I just Oh there we go. How are you doing, Heistmeister? I'm doing pretty good today. I'm really hyped because we're finally into like full questing mode. You know, a lot of the events are over. Obviously I still will do some pet training this stream. Um, but I do want to like start off and like, you know, knock out a few things in questing first. So 
Just finished some Spanish quizzes. So wait, are people like... Oh, pe people aren't still in school. Okay. Dude, I loved Spanish. Spanish is like... Like of all the languages that I've ever had to learn, Spanish is like the most like... It was... It was the easiest to like... To follow the learning process with... Summer classes? Oh, okay. Alright, I might want to include... No, I don't need two death prisms because I've beaten these guys without it. But... Let's see, maybe I should pack some death shields just in case. What mic do I use? I use the Rode Pod mic. Oh, your theater classes take up your time. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is true. I, I didn't think of uh, online school. Spanish was kind of hard for me. I think for me, like, I feel like I have, like, an advantage, like, because English wasn't my first language, so I feel like people that know multiple languages will learn a third language a lot easier just because they, they already know, like, multiple languages, so I do feel like it is, like, unfair for uh, some people, like, when they go into Spanish class. But learning different languages is a really good, like, skill set to have. My English sounds fully American. Thank you, Trig. Um, like, even though English wasn't my first language, I also learned it at a very young age. So, like, um... I guess that's why, like, because I've had a lot of people tell me that. Like, they'd be like, You're, wow, your English sounds so American. And I'm like... First of all, I don't know if I, I should take that as a compliment, because, like, a lot of people around the world think American English is, like, terrible. But, uh, second, um, it's also because, like, I think I was, like, two years old or three years old when I immigrated first to the U.S., so, like, I was obviously learning a different language, but at a very early age, I also, like, went to school here, like, since kindergarten, so... Um, but I didn't I didn't talk a lot like at the very beginning like I was really nervous to like in pretty much all of elementary school I had like no friends I'd never talked to anyone in class cuz Because uh, like I was different from all the kids in my class and like I was also speaking I was also like really nervous to speak as well, so It was tough at the beginning, but I did I eventually ended up pulling through in middle school and Oh, dang, I thought I got the robe for a second. So, do future minions actually drop the death captain? I hope. I wish there was a quick teleport here to Shellac the... Oh, actually, I have to talk to him in the vault, so... Looks like I'm getting to level 19. I'm leveling up a lot faster now that I have You've these spells. Route of Dissolution. Alright, level 19. Yeah, no, English wasn't my first language. Yeah, English, like... Like, I have respect for anyone that had to learn English, like, not at a young age. I feel like at a very young age, it's a lot easier to... When you don't know that many languages, like... Like, when you're, like... A, like, I'm talking about, like, when you're a baby, um, and you have to learn multiple languages. I feel like... It's... Like, you, you pick up things like speaking... A lot faster when you're younger so it's harder to like speak a language for many many years and then have to learn a new language like English is definitely like a harder language to learn than something like Spanish but obviously because like I'm forced to speak English at, at a young age but Spanish is more like you know a language that I'm learning in class and I only have to speak it in class Just class class um, because of that I like Spanish is obviously gonna be harder for me than English But even then, like, for me, like, I, I think, like, of all of the languages I do know, Spanish was, it wasn't, it was really, I won't say it was easy, 
because learning a new language is never going to be that easy but like the process for learning it was really nice easier in europe because we learn english plus two as language yeah in europe like if like pretty much any european like they'll have to know at least two languages because like there's the language of uh the country that you're living in and there's also english Asian and Slavic languages are hardest. I do. I agree with you right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of sounds. Like, it, it's funny because, like, um, like the, uh, the way I tell people to pronounce my real name is, like, different from the way it's supposed to. Okay, I might have to restart because this boss already has a shield. Although I do have imp, so never mind. I should be good to break that. But, um, it's funny because... I have people pronounce my name differently than like the correct pronunciation that you're supposed to have because it would be too hard because you know there's like a sound that's like comes from like I think the back of your throat but like people end up pronouncing it like like that like they're hissing so I, so I just tell them like you know just say it this way it'll be easier for you to say it my first language is Urdu okay that's because you're my brother obviously your first language is Urdu All right, but I won't have to use Prism here. English and Pashto were your first languages. Yeah, Spanish. Yeah, it's mainly the rules with Spanish. Do a voice reveal. Um, I think at like 1 million subscribers, I will do a voice reveal. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I think that would be a pretty good idea. A voice reveal. That's a good suggestion for future content, voice reveal. Maybe 10 million subscribers, I'll do it then. What was the table used for the couch potato? It's a low square table, you can buy it from Mushu. I think I'll need curse here. I should actually calculate now how much damage I can do. Yeah, the TH sounds are really rare, and and the American R is one of the hardest sounds for new learners. Oh, okay. Feet reveal, bro. Elbow reveal. How's the voice reveal? I don't know. I have to figure out how to do a voice reveal. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Your first language was Pashto, then it was English. Oh, okay. Favorite color reveal? My favorite color would have to be blue. I mean, that's the color that I have for my logo, the main color that I use for my logos, so it would definitely have to be blue. I feel like that's such a basic favorite color to have, but like, I think, okay, I'll say this specifically like sky blue, like the lighter shades of blue. I like those. Purple is also a really nice color. I just like the, uh... What would that be? Um... To face a mighty warrior to test my I guess I like the, the right the end of the spec the color spectrum, I guess. So... Of a prince. All right, Pyrofaric, let's uh, try to keep it in English. I know I can speak that language, but other people don't know what you're saying, so. What's my native language? Urdu. But like, I guess nowadays, like I have more fluent English than Urdu just because like I live here, so.
Hey, Xdomar, how you doing? Comentario salvaje. Wait, I should probably not say things because I. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, okay. I think someone. Wait, I swear someone commented that exact same thing on one of my videos. We've been live for one hour officially at this point. Oh no! I forgot to hit the record button. Dang, I guess I'm gonna have to download this, the VOD and then upload it to YouTube then. Unlucky. Well, I did. I spent so much time trying to make sure we avoid professional streamer moments that now we're gonna have a professional YouTuber moment. I should make that into an emote. All right, when I unlock my second emote, it's gonna be professional streamer. It's, it's gonna be some something to do with the professional streamer stuff. Wait, oh, he had a tower shield. I should have I should have probably done something about that. That's fine. I, I have other spells. Oof. I can vampire actually. Yeah, no problem. I should probably sell some gear soon. I am running low. Thank you, Pixel Pro plays for you. Thank you, Dajora or Dahora for following. Thank you, Saturnary Nine. I'm so bad at pronouncing. I apologize. Thank you, Purple Tomato. Following. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. You've done well, young wizard. The lever should work now. Open the door and I'll meet you up ahead at the lake. Alright, Frozen Lake. We do have a beetle here. Beric, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, half of 80? The amount of viewers you have for starting out is crazy. Congrats. Thank you, Gondolik. I think I definitely need to like try to get better because like uh, I did like I did just start out so like I feel like one thing that someone said commented already is I say like way too much I need to get better at that Excellent. and also I need to Let's free the stop like I okay so with this, since I've been doing sure YouTube for quite a while us. it's a lot easier to edit out things like this and like you can do takes over and over again but like any streamer that is like really good at streaming i just have so much more respect for them after like trying this out for only a few days so yeah i i got the beetle right yeah i got the beetle okay so i have to well first of all i have to free these the the shackled manders i'm gonna call my internet service provider because this is the second time it's happened and this is really frustrating i really apologize everyone for that we are back hopefully for the rest of the stream yeah i'm not touching the router like i don't know what's i don't know what's happening everything's like fine i, I just was it wolf stormblade oh man i'm i i apologize for that Yeah, we should be back now. For any of you that are having issues, just press F5. We should be back. Refresh. Did 
Did you really unplug the router? No, you didn't. Stop lying. I have the router in my room. My internet is allergic to unprofessional streams. Yeah. Best place to fish? Arrow Village, Zafaria, Polarian Shipwreck in no specific you order, depending on what you want. You are, but overall, I would say probably Arrow Village because you can get Mega Sacks and Gold. What more do you want? Um, what more can you want, honestly? Like Mega Sacks and Gold, like that's like half the game right there, right? The router's not in your room. The modem is in your room. The router's in my room. When am I going to get to Temple of Storms? I mean, if this keeps up what's been going on with the stream, then never. But, you know, hopefully this won't be a problem soon. Oh, no. My Streamlabs is showing frame drops that 10 percent okay sauce half the year viewers yeah it's it sucks but i don't know like what i can do right now that is true at, at least well it did disconnect me but like what you have to do is don't press any buttons try to get your internet back up and running before you hit okay in wizard one if you do lose connection because if you hit okay without like getting your connection back on then you have to completely re-log back into wizard 101 so does a two hour timer restart since the stream restarted no i will still end the stream at 4 p.m but um it's just also unfortunate that it happened today on a day where i forgot to hit the record button because then i have to download now i have to download multiple stream vods to then upload to youtube just when i was starting to catch up with my the youtube vods onto the twitch stream vods onto youtube this happens so All right. So that wasn't Krakotep. I still have to try and defeat Krakotep. Actually, is this the last dungeon in this part of Krakotopia? Oh, that's cool. So wow, I feel like I feel like I was pretty much at the beginning of Krakotopia when I started this stream and like I'm gonna be in the Temple of Storms, and the Temple of Storms is actually very short. To open the door and take a vengeance on Krakotep. Temple of Storms is like a few quick quests. It's a lot of bosses to defeat, but there is that I actually might be able to finish Krakotopia this stream. Fingers crossed, nothing else happens. Hey Jackie, how are you doing? Jackie's helping me set up the Discord. That is coming very soon, by the way. I just, uh... I just have to, like, make time for that. Because... I've been, like, trying to set up, like, the Twitch things. So... Am I gonna get the Death Captain before Temple of Storms? I might farm for it. I don't know if I because like that because I'm gonna get what 2% damage from the robe and then an additional 3% damage boost and I also get a health boost so I don't know is that worth it is that worth trying to spend time farming for I'm not sure we got some Hyga love in the chat when will I level up my pet um I mean, oh, what, one thing I probably should have been doing is equipping my pet before I complete a quest so I can get some free XP, but I guess I'll do some, some pet leveling in a bit. And then I'll also do a hatch, so. Ooh, 
We also got some Blake gas. We got Haiga viewers and Blake viewers in here. Hello, everyone. Spiral showcase. Um, yeah, so the pet trade, the spiral showcase stuff I'll be doing as well. That's going to be happening at the same time as the, the pet stuff, so... Yeah, wow, my stream disconnected three times today. Yeah, the 100% accuracy is like probably my favorite part. Wow, Ice Wizards get this? Bro, look at what I get. I get 1% power pip chance. I get less health. Look at what Ice Wizards get. What? To be fair, their school is a little bit of a struggle. So we got Croc Snake Tree. Then again, I do feel bad for any ice that's questing through this. Because first of all, this is an ice place in Crocotopia. So they have to use prisms. And ice has to do all this without blades. They don't get their blades till level 30. So Croc Snake Tree. That's what it was. We also got some stone blocks right there. Try being a fire for the sharpen blade cast. I actually saw on the wiki like, um, uh, like it was like it was a meme about like fire wizards like their struggle with the the sharpen blade quest. Just get rid of this death shield. Please make ice as my next wizard um a lot of people said they wanted me to do fire wizard so i'll i'll see we'll we'll probably do another vote for the second wizard but i'm probably gonna end up doing a fire wizard i failed a uh mega with death dealer and i got all my good talents and now i can't find the pet anywhere i've been looking for weeks so if you can't find the exact pet find another pet with the same talents manifested but try to also look for a similar talent pool if you can't then that's fine just uh you won't have to completely insomnia roses thank you for the twitch prime sub welcome to the stream thank you to all the twitch prime subs today kip clop obviously the very first sub on this channel ever you will be immortalized and remembered and I also want to say um, earlier in the stream we did have uh, Tagliatelle with the 1500 bits. Thank you so much for that as well. Thank you to everyone that's been showing all the support for this stream. Thank you Alterov for the 10 bits. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Am I hearing discord noises? Um, yeah, that might be me. Uh, Actually, no, I think, I don't think, I think, I'm pretty sure I have streamer mode on for Discord. It shouldn't, it might be you, actually. Because streamer mode automatically turns on when you open up Streamlabs OBS or OBS. So. Level 10 crowns wand that gives Ice Blade in one hit. Yeah, but I f then again, like, if you don't have crowns, it still might be a little bit of a struggle, so. Yo, stop spamming the chat, Pyroferic. I have to go now, but I wish you an unprofessional stream. Thank you, Vivian, for tuning in today. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, I also hope the stream stays unprofessional. Hopefully we don't have another pro streamer moment, but. All right. So let me just make sure, did I miss any of the, okay, I need the, the Sphinx Island beetle still, but Tomb of Storm, Well of Spirits and the Barracks beetle, those should be all in the storm area, so. You have 
I fear more. We may not have always acted with wisdom in the past, but you've set us on the right path. All right, so I'm going to get the Sphinx the Island Beetle, talk to Al Hazred, the and then I'm going to go to the, do a run at the bazaar to sell some of my gear. I'm trying to make a new myth pet. I got myth giver first talent, and its stats are 249 strength. Intellect doesn't matter because you're not going for Pierce. Almost max will and agility and max power. That's pretty good. I'm not going for Pierce, almost max will. So actually, even though it says intellect affects Pierce, it actually doesn't. I don't know why they have that here, where it says intellect affects Pierce. It actually, the things that affect Pierce are strength and agility. So only two things will affect a specific talent. Three things actually, if you include power as well. And as you can see, armor piercing says it for agility and strength. I don't know why they will have that there because intellect has zero effect on piercing. Do I have a discord? No, but I am. Uh, in the process, not in the process, but I am going to make one very soon. The stream get higher pitch, uh, high, the higher pitch thing that seems to be a glitch with uh, Google Chrome. Thank you, Portugal or Portugal, <laughs> Portugal. I can't even read now. Thank you, Portal Gun Fan, for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. Uh, that's right. Let me get the Sphinx Island. Got you, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And actually, it's now finally showing me the the little icon for the subscription thing. Because um, it like when I was making it, like when I was trying to put it on, like it would show like a larger image. I wasn't sure how it would look in chat, but I think it looks pretty nice. One more founders. How many founders can you have? Is it like five people? Want to go in there? Thank you, Amiza Regal, for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. Thank you very much. And yeah, I think Maze, Mason, I think you did get the last uh, founder spot. That's quite You're in luck. Poison! Sorry, uh, I hope I didn't hurt your ears, but Poison is a great spell for PvP. One of the best death spells for PvP. Um, Let me actually just check something. Hold on. Uh, someone left a message that I really wanted to read. Hi, Ferrick. I'm a huge fan. I'm from Maldives. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's like... It, dude, it's like midnight there. That's some dedication. Thank you for the support. Thank you for attending. That's some dedication, being up that late just to watch me stream. You cannot simply oh. Just to watch this you failed stream, which is like... I must say that I am just keeps disconnecting, it's dude. Oh, I do not want to accept that side quest. To confront him. Um, you talk to him for me? Menders are quite shy by nature, you know. Let me just go back to the bazaar because I I have my inventory is starting to fill up real fast, so let's go back. Just blew my eardrum. Sorry about that. I think I I do have a I think I have a noise gate though, so or not a noise gate. I have a I have a compression on, so it shouldn't have been. I don't think it was too loud. My ears are bleeding. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to. Oh, okay. Pronounce Maldives. Okay. Oh, I pronounced it wrong. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm here for the unprofessional stream. All right, Maldives. All right. I'm very bad at pronouncing things. Like you'd think that because I'm like, because I know like some foreign languages, I'd be able to pronounce things, but I really can't. I'm really bad. At pronouncing 99 viewers thank you to everyone that's coming back after the stream disconnect i'm going to call my internet service provider um because i really don't want this to happen thank you yo tony with the tier one sub thank you so much tony's one of my good friends bro he's one of my teammates in csgo dude He's been here since day one. Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to bank sell some of these other things. 
But I will keep the school specific ones because uh, if I make future wizards, those will be really useful to start off Krakatopia in. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I as soon as I'm done today, I'm gonna call my ISP and like you know let them know that they just ruined the viewing experience for over a hundred people. All right. Thank you, everyone, for still being here. What ISP do I use? I have Cox Wi-Fi, and they have a monopoly over the town I'm in. And recently, they've been really, really trash. So yeah, I think I'll stream for an extra 30 minutes today because I think this is this is really this is really garbage. What just happened? I'm so sorry to everyone. It's out of my control, but I'm going to stream for an extra 30 minutes because of the disconnects. So let's just try to get right back into it. Let's go to quick sell. I think that's what I was trying to open before it all crashed and burned to the ground. All right, let's sell these uh, universal Krakatopian things. No, it's it's not your fault uh, that it's crashing. It's just the stupid ISP. Thank you, Sentimi P, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that like my mood is like, or the way I'm talking is like, I'm I'm gonna try to like keep the vibes positive. Um, but it's just it, it is a little bit frustrating. Uh, let's let's keep on going though. Uh, how do I have senator's gear? I'm not level thirty yet. So this senator's hat is actually from when I was doing fishing. I think when I was in the garden of uh, where like the Mount Olympus is. When I was fishing there, I ended up getting it. So yeah, yeah, we are back. I'm gonna stream for an extra thirty minutes today. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong, and I'm definitely gonna be calling my ISP as soon as the stream ends. Um, I'm like, dude, that like completely messed up the flow I was in. What was I even doing? I think I was, I think I was just trying to sell some stuff, but let me just go back to the bazaar real quick. Cause I do want to see if I can get some gear upgrades. Because Cox is giving people $10 Wi-Fi because it's pandemic and everyone got it. I don't think that's why it is though. Like this, this has been an issue even before the pandemic, like just randomly like for like one week like there'll just be these random disconnects that happen and there's nothing i can do i just have to wait like five ten minutes and like sometimes it'll last like an entire day i don't think it has to do with just a pandemic i hope i didn't just sell anything important that's rare all right try to keep the vibes positive trying to keep everything positive here you know, this stuff can happen sometimes. So. Let's see if I can... Okay, I can actually get some... Wait, I'm level 20 now, right? Dude, that's awesome. I'm level 20. I didn't even... With all these distractions with the stream crashing, I didn't even realize. I'm level 20 now. So I'm actually going to get a wand that is... First of all, what's, which one of these is the cheapest? Let's go level 20 plus. I want to see which one of these plus one pip ones is the cheapest. Probably this balance one because there's 98 of them in stock. Uh, and I want to want get one that's off school so that I can wand off weaknesses without messing up my blades. Let's go with the fire one. Actually, you're right. Life hits. I should have gotten the life one. Wait, is there a life one that has... Yeah. You know what? It's only a waste of 2,000 gold that I bought the other one, so... Life hits, yeah, it's a good idea, because if someone life shields when I prism, then... Like, I don't know if they do end up doing the life shields at this level, but in case they do, it's nice to have. So, good thing I have infinite money, yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy I took advantage of the fishing thing, but if I do, like, start running low on gold, because I will do hatches and things like that, um, I'll, I'll still do more fishing in the arrow village and, like, spend some of my energy on that as well. If I, because I don't have many pet snacks right now, so like I don't have to train every single day. 
But let me see. Is there any good amulets I can get? No, it doesn't seem like it. The deck, I don't really need a new deck right now. Yeah, I think I'm good with gear for now. I think the wand is the main upgrade. Thank you, Vinny Vanity, for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the subs today, everyone. I'm going to do everything I can to try to make sure that the streams go more smoothly next time. Obviously, call my ISP, see if there's like, you know, a permanent fix to this problem. And yeah, I really do appreciate it. Welcome, Vinny Vanity. Also, hello, Halo Shady. Thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Your name sounds very familiar for some reason. Halo Shady. I'm trying to remember. But let's see. Okay, I'll, I'll put two life wands in. And yeah. Can I try to increase the bit rate next time? Because I get blurry. I'll do that. Um, yeah, I'll do that for sure. Um, but it also might be because of these all these like connection issues and things like that. So, but yeah, I'm everywhere and nowhere, dude. He's Hydro. He's the Clutch Master. He's Clutch in CS and he's Clutch in the Twitch streams. Oh, hello, Wolf. Time to go to Tomb of Storms. If I have both King Parsley and Ultra King Parsley, do they separately affect couch potatoes? No. So King Par so like when if you have Ultra King Parsley, or any variant of a plant for that matter that is one of the likes for another plant, then it it will just say likes King Parsley. So if you have an Ultra King Parsley, it'll just say likes King Parsley. Don't with it, Crackle. To reach her, you will need a two. Alright, let me I think there is there is a beetle in here, so or hold on. Was there... So actually, Tomb of Storms, I think... I think there's a beetle back here, isn't there? Right? Yeah, there is. Do we... How do we see how often a pet will may cast? Um, so for the actual... For the may casts... For a second, I thought you were talking about will cast. I'm not sure about how... Entirely about how will casts work yet. But for Maycast, um, it's there's like a random like percentage to it. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but there are triggers to try to like make the Maycast happen. So like for example, for Maycast Infallible, casting a spell on yourself will have a higher chance of triggering that Maycast. So, so yeah, and then also there's also a beater be, be, beetle inside of the. The actual area in the the well of spirits so i also have to get that one the percentage when your opponent needs it is a hundred percent for them true true Are EMPs still worth farming compared to couch potatoes? So I think I think couch potatoes are better. Like if you don't have anything right now, then you should definitely go for couch potatoes because both of them have pretty much the same rewards. They give plus 45, plus 40, plus 50 mega snacks. But um, couch potatoes are just so much easier to get nowadays that like you might as well just go for them. And like some of the mobs that you farm for couch potatoes like monkey spiders and gulchers they also have a chance to drop emps the trap the chance to drop emps is obviously a lot lower but um i also like with couch potatoes you get a lot more gold you also get empowers from treasure cards and like um with empowers you can like actually they're like the most valued treasure card in the game and ter not in terms of like their actual value because obviously there are rare treasure cards which are valued at way more but in terms of like a treasure card like currency and powers are like always looked at as like like the gold standard like because they always have a pretty consistent value on the bazaar and like they also have a nice number to sell for like they'll always sell for between 1,000 and 4,000 it won't be like some random 
like 1275 or something like that so you got more emps than couch potatoes wow that's that's pretty lucky because i'm pretty sure the drop rate is higher for couch potatoes for them or maybe or are you saying that because like you just got the couch potatoes that rarely that the emps were higher the max was 2000 um you might be right i think like if there's no empowers in the bazaar i think they might be i don't know i i thought they could sell for 4000 i guess it's 2000 it probably is i'm probably bugging Oh, you just got really lucky. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah, okay, buy for 4,000. That's right. Buy for 4,000. Sell for... If you're buying them for 4,000, then they're selling for 1,000, I think. Or, I don't know. Because I thought it's like you... Like, in the bazaar, I thought it's like if you buy something, uh, you sell it for one quarter of the price that you buy it for. I thought that's how it was, but I guess not. I mean, technically, there is a vendor of couch potatoes. It's the crown shop. Do I recommend it? I mean, if it's on sale, maybe. But at that point, you might as well get evil magma peas. If you're going to buy the plants, you might as well get EMPs because they are technically faster because they have more likes and their likes, the percentages for them are a little bit better. So couch potatoes can take almost four days if you have all the likes. But EMPs can take j like 2.2 days and like... 23 hours so in the long run you might end up getting mega snacks faster with emps oh yeah and powers okay so yeah so i guess like when you buy them for four thousand gold that means there's a lot in stock and they sell for one thousand and then yeah because i'm pretty sure that's how it goes it's like one qu like you sell it you buy it for four times the price that you can sell it for in the bazaar um let me actually the beetles should be back here right wait is he trying to say something i just realized no thank you i do have chat bubbles off because they're pretty big and people message me all the time, which is perfectly fine. Um, but I do prefer to have them off on the stream. How long do I think it'll take for my Discord to be made? So, like, it honestly would be made. The, per the person that's helping me with it is, like, ready any time to help me. It's, it's mainly just me slacking on it. Um, but... I'll try I'll I'll see if that person is available to make it after the stream today. If not, um I'll see. I'll definitely make an announcement on my Twitter. By the way, um for those of you that, you know, are curious about announcements, if you have a Twitter, go ahead and follow me. Twitter.com slash underscore ferric with a one underscore. And when I say with a one, I mean the I in Ferric is replaced with a one. I really hate that I can't, because I checked and the Twitter handle for a, the actual twitter.com slash Ferric, the normal way that I want it, it's taken by clearly an inactive account and an account with private tweets that's existed since 2009 that only has like 10 tweets or something like that and like basically no followers. So I wish like there was a way I could contact Twitter and be like, hey, can I like... Is there any way I can at least contact the person and try to request the handle? Like if I ask nicely or something. And like also to see if that account is inactive, if I can have it. So the different style of I. See, I have one, but like even even Ferric with a one is taken up. And even that account is inactive and made in 2009. So I have to have some like crazy like underscore Ferric one underscore. Which is just so hard to say. The Turkish accented eye. Can I do that on? I mean, actually, I. It's probably a good idea. 
But like, can I do that for the link though? I, I'm talking about the actual link. Can I do like? Can I do that? The X X X M L G Pro one two three X. Dude. Who's this dude on a Gulcher stalking you? Uh, I think he was trying to help me. Wait, was it this person? No, this is Celestia Wolf. Someone was trying to help me, but I said no. Only problem is that when people try to look- Oh, okay. Ferric official or like Wiz Ferric? That's probably a good idea. Here, I'll, I'll like, I'll look up like Barrack 101. We'll see. Bro, this guy. Has anyone here watched Avatar The Last Airbender? I I'm actually in the process of watching it right now. I'm on the, the third book. And I'm not gonna, no spoilers please, um, I'm also not gonna give any spoilers, but I will say it's one of the greatest shows I've ever watched. I love the show. And actually, Hydroxide Ant, my friend Tony, he, he's the one that like really suggested I watch it. My, my sister watched it like when it f like was, when I was really young, when we actually had like the Nickelodeon and all that stuff. Um, like my, I remember my sister watching it and uh, like I was really young, so like I probably like didn't understand what was going on but like like it came out on Netflix and like I, I decided to watch it and like it's it's such a good show dude like I don't think there's been a single episode I legitimately disliked about this show I watched it seven seven times soon to be it yeah I like as soon as I'm done watching it I want to watch it again like I feel like this is one of those things like I'll love to just watch over and over again hold on I'm, I'm really quickly I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable with uh, people following me around. I'm, whoa, what's this? Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. I saw the little crown symbol and I thought this was like a free crowns thing for a second. I got a little bit excited. Yeah, shout out to Cabbage Dude. Poor guy, dude. Can't, can't, get, can't catch a break anywhere. Last Airbender is my favorite show of for years. I have the tattoo. Oh, you have it. Oh, that's really cool. Ah, uh, should I switch realms? I feel kind of, I feel kind of weird being led into different places. Oh, there was a teleporter? Okay, my bad. I wasn't paying attention. I just have the barracks beetle, but oh, I've actually been slacking on this crafting quest. You know what? I'm gonna mark a location, really quickly go and craft those. Because, um, they do have a cooldown, so. Ring of insight, let's create one. Do I have more than one crafting slot? No. What? What? Oh, okay. I thought this was the crafting timer for a second. That's just the mount timer. <laughs> I got freaked out there for a little second. I was like, what? I should have done this a long time ago. All right, we'll craft the other one in like a few minutes. All right. Time to enter the palace. Did I already go to the barracks? Okay, actually, I'm going into the barracks right now. Oh, I almost crashed into that. About Appa, though, one know it's pretty funny. Um, so the my my native language that I speak, um, is Urdu, and sister in Urdu is Appa, and so like. I, you know how I told you that like my sister watched the show at a young age so like the one thing that I do remember from the show even though like I didn't remember anything from like when my sister was watching it when I was a young age is that 
Um, I would I would notice that like they literally like it's Appa in the show, and like I literally call my sister Appa because in Urdu Appa like in Urdu like we like you respect your older siblings, so you don't call your older siblings by their name. Uh, you call them like like Bhaijan, which is like brother, or Appa, which is sister. And so like it's really funny like now that I'm watching the show, so like. And since my sisters watched the show and she really liked it, I'll joke to her and I'll be like, "Yip yip." Wait, did I get the beetle? Oh, I did not get the beetle. I forgot it. Thanks for the reminder, everyone. I'm doing your couch potato tutorial, but I can't plant in the pot above. Um might be able to help you out with that uh here after all right so after the stream is over i'll still stay on for a couple minutes just to answer some questions um obviously like since the since the whole issue with the disconnections happened i'm gonna have to edit the stuff in the stream anyways so i'll just edit that part out but i'll stay on for like a few minutes to answer questions maybe go on another account um but yeah or or actually a better idea would be i can actually after the stream help you out in game um like i can go to the commons add you and then like get on my other wizard and then come and help you so all right time to go to the palace i don't think i've ever called my brother brother yeah it's just like something in like our culture that like you know like calling an older sibling uh like saying like brother and like saying brother or like sister is like more respectful than like saying their name so yeah i can definitely add you after i'll go to the commons at the uh at the end of the stream to add you and i can definitely help you out like one-on-one -on -one. you're gonna go watch some avatar yo enjoy thank you for tuning in today adrian we love having you here. Where am I from? I was originally born in Kashmir. Um, and then when I was like two years old, um, we immigrated to the US. And I've been living here since. I've obviously gone back to visit, you know, extended family and things like that. But I've been living here pretty much my entire life. All right, let's jump into the dungeon. Hey, Suleiman. How you doing? How old am I? I'm 20 years old. I turned 20 just a few days ago. Is Urdu SpongeBob a thing? I'm not sure. I know there's like a lot of things that are dubbed into Urdu, though. Like, I think I actually remember, like, the movie Stuart Little, the movie Stuart Little, um, I actually watched the Urdu dub of that movie before I watched it in English, when I was really young, obviously. Um, you will test your might against me, and you will fail. Why even try, weakling? Yeah, Avatar is an amazing show. I watch anime. I mean, like, I watch Pokemon. Like, I've watched all the seasons of Pokemon. Um, and then, like, but other th other than Pokemon, I guess I watched like some of the Studio G Ghibli stuff. I watched a lot of those movies I liked, but other than that, not a whole lot. Exposed. Exposed for what? Oh, you have death shields. That's fine. I'll just kill you later. Oh, this this boss has such low health. What? I don't even need more than that. Weeps. Uh, I, w I wouldn't consider, like, I don't think I'm a... Like, I actually asked my friends about this. I would be like, hey, I watched Pokemon. Does that make me weep? And they're like, no, Pokemon's different. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, Avatar is a masterpiece. I agree. 100%. J 
chick am a weeb. I'm head up. Much love to y'all. Thank you so much, Wiggle Turns, for tuning in. Have a great day. All right, let's uh, let's put you down real quick for death shielding. And yeah, Avatar, yeah. Um, I actually like, um, like I, I asked my friends like, is Avatar an anime? And they're like, no, 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 don't, don't call it an anime. Like people will get mad at you for that. And I was like, okay, okay. I won't call it an anime. So wand upgrade after Sky Iron. Honestly, in terms of like completely like farmable wands, I would say the Sidhe staff, maybe if you, really want the power pips and accuracy but other than that like the sky iron is a really good wand you could i mean obviously you could try to open packs and i might try to open a pack with my trivia crowns to test my luck but i'm probably going to be rocking the sky iron for a good amount of this series once i get it maybe the city staff but i feel like as a death wizard i probably won't need the city staff so open the sinbad oh I, I heard the sinbad wand is pretty rare though I'll have, to, I'll have to see which packs have like the best drop rates actually the the pack that i yeah i'm also gonna wait on packs like the only times i'm gonna open packs for wands obviously with trivia crowns but um i'm gonna wait till level 60 because that's when you can start getting crit on wands so i'll open one then and then after that i probably won't try again till level 100 because at level 100 that's when the stats get like crazy high um but like, I heard the Terror's Horde pack has really good drop rates for wands. Like, they've improved it, and it's, like, probably the easiest, like, good, like, quality crowns wand to get. When am I ending the stream? So, because I had a lot of, like, uh, connection issues, you know, the stream disconnected a bunch of time, uh, a bunch of times. Um, I'm going to stream for 30 minutes longer today. Um, and I feel like it's wasted at least 15 minutes of time, the the whole disconnecting issues that happen, so. Yeah, I think I can... No, I can't. I can, actually can't kill the, the death one, I don't think, so I'll trap you. That's true. We also... We haven't had a pack of blues then for her. That's right. I, I definitely want to, like, try to... If I do packs, I do want to wait until pack of Palooza because, like, rounds are really rare. For me oh i i double bladed my bad my favorite mount i say the, the mount that i think is like my favorite is uh probably the battle havocs or the battle narwhal i think those are the two like like both for the fact that they give stat boosts but also i think they look pretty sick You have 30,000 gold and you're on level 43 storm wizard. Should I get a pet? Uh, you should do what I did um, a couple streams ago. So try to find in the kiosk an ancient pet that costs 30,000 gold to hatch with that has really high stats. And the three manifested talents are like things like, you know, spell proof, storm dealer, pain giver, stuff like that. The battle havoc smell is like, it's really sick. Like just the sound that it makes when you walk with it. I don't have a Battle Havocs, I have a Narwhal on my other account, but pretty sick mount. Might as well use this to get some health back. We're gonna do the daily assignment quest. I'll probably do it for this Spiral Showcase. Um, but other than that, in terms of daily assignments, I think like that will actually slow me down in questing, so. Did I enchant vampire 36 health boss? Yes, I did. And I did it just for you, Mason. Favorite pet. Favorite pet. I don't have this kind of pet, but actually, okay, we'll, we'll go for in general. My favorite pet would be the enchanted armament be, just because of like the blade stacking enchanting capabilities at any level um but in terms of like my absolute like favorite type of pet would be the rate like the class pets that you get from the decathlon for each school because 
they give you a sharpened blade spell, but they also give you a school blade spell. So you can stack three different types of blades of your own school with that because you have not only a sharpened blade, but you also have your own school blade and the pet card school blade. You will fall before me. Discard one of these blades. Seven days to finish croc. So yeah, I, I like, I, yeah, I did spend like three days uh, f fishing. So in terms of actual time to finish croc, this is probably the, uh, I think this is like the fourth or third or fourth actual stream where I'm actually just questing. And also I did waste a lot of time in my first stream, like trying to check out the first time user stuff. So, um, but I guess you could say this is like, Three or four days to finish croc which would be like eight hours i'd say have i trained strangle yet no i haven't i'll probably i'll do that like i'll do that later when i go back to wizard city because i don't need strangle anytime soon Oh, yeah, the yeah the the daily assignments are also going to be different depending on uh, how much you've done it. <sighs> I'm gonna check something out real quick. I'm gonna do the spiral showcase, yeah, for sure. Because um, someone said I get a free professor's hoard pack at the end, and I'm not gonna open it right away. I'm gonna save the opening of the professor's hoard pack until level 60. Um, but it is going to be nice to have a free hoard pack later on. There, I hope there's health wisps. Oh, a lot of mana wisps, but I'm in need of health wisps. It opens it right away. Are you serious? That's stupid. Well, I guess, uh, try to level up as fast as possible so I can get the highest wand I can get. Oh, it doesn't give the pack. It just gives the items. Man. I'm running low on health. Hopefully, I can survive this battle. I don't need two life wands. I only need two blades to kill the boss, so... I do not recognize you. Let's actually, let's see how much health it has. Yeah, no, there's... I don't think I'll get to level 60 in six days. I mean, we'll see, like... I, I was surprised that in like this stream, like I finished Crocotopia because I only had like 30% of it done this stream. Or wait, no, I, that's not true. I actually did have some of it done because I forgot last time, uh, yesterday I streamed some Crocotopia. Wisps, pss, 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 pss. Wait, they retextured him? I guess he's an important character that they retextured him for. I don't know. That is a little weird. Oh, I actually, I might die because this guy has 900 health. Oh, you can open it for... That is true, because look at this. The pet promenade, the event is over, but you can still collect these. Oh, looks like I died. That's right. I should have added a death count thing to Nightbot. I should have added that. But yeah, I did die. 
That's my fault for not buying potions though. Let's quickly do the potion mini game. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have it, but this is like the fifth death I wanna say. You're gonna go on a, a real life fishing trip, so you won't be here for a couple streams. That's okay. Um, I will st like still upload the vods to YouTube, so you know, if you do want to catch up on some stuff, then those will definitely be available. And also, I do appreciate the Twitch Prime sub as well. Have fun with fishing. I really want to like, I really want to like do fishing like in real life, like just like go away camping one day and like just fish. Like that seems like a peaceful like fun thing to do wait i died to a five percent fizzle did i really how's life it's pretty good i mean like it's also pretty like outside of like the twitch streams and like the youtube content um, outside of Twitch, it's been pretty uneventful, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but, like, I also, like, hope the whole thing, like, with everything that's going on blows over real fast, because, you know, chilling at home is, is nice at first, but then after you do it for a while, you do want to get back out into the world, and luckily enough, like, um, where I work, I can still, like, go out of the house and stuff like that, because Staples is techni technically considered... An essential business so ever since I started working there again um, I have been able to get out and it's fun to talk to people but I mean not really too eventful though I will say that I want you to speak to William and Krakatoa that's right I actually have to as soon as I complete this dungeon I'm gonna go talk to uh, actually I'll do that after I'm done sg anomaly with the twitch prime sub thank you so much it's four o'clock yeah i know it's four o'clock but i promised everyone that because of all the connection issues that i've been having i'm gonna stream for 30 minutes longer today so do i live on my own yet um not yet. I have lived on my own for a year. Last year when I was in Texas, I lived on my own. Um, let's see. Take. Oh yeah, I don't have to talk to him. What's up, brother? How you doing, Anomaly? I've been doing pretty good today. Aside from the stream like crashing, it was really that like today's crashes were the most frustrating ones because like it happened three times, I think. And all three times, everyone came back to watch the stream. And I, I just felt so bad for everyone that was watching. Um, but yeah, so I lived on my own last year in Texas. I was in my own apartment. Like right now I live in Connecticut, so like I was I was also really far away. Um I paid my own rent, had to pay for Wi-Fi and things like that. But it was really fun. It was a great experience. And I also learned a lot of things like don't trust your apartment people ever. They're never going to be your friends. They want to get as much money as they can out of you as possible. Wish I could watch more of the stream, but I don't have very good net. Hmm. I might. Okay. So until I become Twitch partner, I might bring my streams down to 720p so that more people can watch it. Because um, like until your partner, you can't. You don't have full access to the Twitch transcode, no? Keep it at 1080p. I'll see, cause I think like for Twitch affiliates, you do get priority like for transcoding. So I'll look into that so that it's easier for to watch the streams in lower than 1080p. But yeah. that do the exacts? How do they both have exactly 89 health? That did the perfect amount of damage. Sad I missed half the stream because my parents made me do yard work. That's okay. Uh, I will upload the VODs to YouTube. And doing yard work, it, it's it's a good thing. Thank you, Charles101 
460 for the tier one sub. Welcome. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Dude, I'm actually about to die. 720p would help. Yeah, I'll I'll have to like to check because like the one thing that I don't know why it's so hard for newer streamers to do is that like you can't like I don't know why they don't allow an option for to lower the stream quality for different people. Like if I stream at if I I have to either choose to stream at a lower quality or which will be bad for the people that can watch in 1080p or I have to stream in 1080p and the people that can't watch in 1080p suffer. I don't know why it's because like on YouTube like I can easily like anyone can select what quality they want to view the video at but I don't know why you can't do that on Twitch if you're not a partner. Maybe there is a way I, I, I will have to look into it. I'm almost in Temple of Storms. Yeah I think right now right after this I will be in Temple of Storms so. Oh, your life is here? All right, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna quest. I know your life is here, but I'm not gonna quest with you just cause I don't wanna like, I still wanna do it solo, but I will add you if I see you around. Yeah, I'm just gonna teleport to the Oasis because actually I should have teleported to home. Oh, you're in Mushu? What are you doing in Mushu? Oh, you've been questing your life, haven't you? All right, let's see, mark a location. I, okay, I'll talk to Prospector Zeke while I'm waiting for the teleport thing, but what I meant to do was go home so I could craft the other Ring of Insight. Thank you for the training point. Those will become very useful once I unlock enchant spells. Finally made it past Chrysalis. Congratulations. Chrysalis is a grind. I think it's the longest world. It's like, what, 277 quests? That's insane. Oh, let me just add you. Ring of Insight. There we go. Time to talk to William in Krakatopia. 277 quests, yeah. I keep forgetting you're live. I need some kind of notification from my computer from Discord. Yeah, I'm trying to get the Discord set up. I really should do that. Because I feel like not a lot of people have Twitter, and some of the people that do have it, like, because Twitter, like, it shows, like, what other people do. Like, some people don't want to, like, they want their Twitter to be like more private and whatever. So yeah, I, I should definitely do the, the get the Discord stuff set up. Did I accidentally accept the side quest? Okay, Pony Pon Ponyard. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, honestly. But yeah, also if you follow, you should get like an. A, if you have the Twitch app on your phone, you should get a notification of when I go live. Um, let's see, what do I need for this? Oh, I actually have all the stuff I need. I just need to buy 12 jades and six simple vials. 12 jades. And six simple vials. There we go. Ah, this is your life wizard. Okay. Yeah, you are in Mushu. Level 26. Um, do I have crafting slots? You know what? Let me just finish up Krakatopia real quick. I'll finish up Krakatopia, then for the rest of the stream, I'll work on the pet because I do want to do the pet hatches still. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I need to be in the Temple of Storms. Yeah, you can type how many you want. Just make sure you click to the right. Um, but yeah, that does that makes it easier. What's up? What are people asking for? Oh, okay, people are helping each other out. That's really nice. I'm glad people are helping each other out in chat. You can also put letters in there. Yeah. <sighs> I 
I haven't been drinking enough water today. I forgot to bring a water bottle with me, so... I do not recommend you go that long without drinking water. You did it. It's time for your f you. All right, here we go. Final dungeon of Crocotopia. Oh man. Here we go. Thank you, the great Lumos, for following. Thank you, Goku. Thank you, loser. You're not a loser, though. Oh, wait. It doesn't say loser. It says... Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. You're not a loser. It's Ioser, I think. It looks a lot like an L. But even if it was loser, you're definitely not a loser. Did I... Did I really just call you loser this entire time? I'm so sorry. You're not a loser. No one's a loser. I'm gonna get Beguile. That's pretty good. Hey, Mystic. How you doing? Temple Gatekeeper. We're gonna have our trials. Are the subs getting to your head? Uh... No. Krakotep ensured only the worthy could enter the inner sanctum. If you go to the Thank teleporter at my right. Wait, oh, thank you. Oh, oh my god. Well, what, 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 what's going on? Thank you, Lucifer, for the tier one sub. Thank you, the great Lumos, for the tier one sub. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Back to back subs. Welcome. Did I get poisoned? Yeah, I just got poisoned. I just got poisoned? No, I just got the spell poison. What's going on? I can't think properly. I think I have not been drinking enough water. I should probably get water. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I'll get water. I promise. After the stream. Have a good rest of your stream. Hope it goes well. Thank you, Vinny Vanity. And also, thank you for, thank you for the sub today. Really appreciate it. Tempestra. Isn't there a staff named after this guy? His Onyx staff. Thank you, Big Gucci Lija, Lija for following. I need to read these names a little bit slower. Because I'm going to end up butchering something and saying something I will really regret. I need to breathe for a second, slow down. Tempestra's Onyx staff, that's right. They wilted again already in 24 hours. So, okay, you have to make sure the way planting works is that the plants don't change status until you visit your house that the plants are in. So the only way your plants could have started wilting is if you saw them, if you went to your house that, that uh, the plants are planted in and you didn't take care of them and then you left the house and then came back later and then they started wilting. So you have to make sure every time you enter your house, um, you take care of the plants. And if you do want to go on the wizard, but you don't want to have to take care of your plants, then just unequip the house that your plants are in. So, so yeah. Lots of single battles here. Pretty nice change of pace. That's why they never hit mature till you visit? Yeah. So, like, let's say it takes five or six hours for it to get from seedling to baby. Like, you could plant the plant at seedling, come back to the game ten years later, and it will only be at seedling. Because you have to check on them in order for it to then start progressing towards the next stage. I don't think I have enough damage output to kill him right now.
All right, Son of Storms. All right, I might actually end up going a little bit past 4.30 because I still do want to get the pet training done. And I think in terms of like editing the video, since like everything's messed up anyways, I can go for a little bit longer, so. Let's go to five, we'll see. Right now it's looking pretty likely that I'll do that. I don't know about six. We'll try five, but. Let's go 24 hours. Maybe. Go to nine. I'll do a 24 hour stream at some point in the future. But I'll have to definitely like, you know, prepare for it. Six, I don't know about that 24 hours perhaps well like to like what I'm saying is um today I won't go to sick until 6 p.m. Um, in the future I can definitely go towards 6 p.m. and stuff but like about the possibility of ever doing a 24-hour stream that is a possibility donation goal we don't have to do a donation goal I'll just I'll just like end up doing one after like like let's say like we hit like a certain point in the game or something or maybe like you know a different milestone i don't want to like chill for like donations like you know oh donate me this much and like we'll do a 24-hour stream i don't want to make it about that all right we leveled up to level 21 so i'm actually very close to unlocking a new spell I could easily finish Marleybone in two hours, maybe. Test of aptitude. What is the te test of aptitude? Those things that live must shine bright. Ooh, what a Those difficult test. Twenty-four hour dungeon grind? Maybe. Maybe like if there's a super rare item. Okay, maybe like once we, like let's say once we get to uh Like I'll see if I can do one before then, because it'll be a while till I get to this point. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, let's say for example, once we get to the end of the game, 1.30, we're trying to grind for Dragoon's gear. Like, maybe I could do a 24-hour, like, Dragoon farming stream or something like that. Or yeah, even, even like, farming for, like, limited time spells from the Lore Master. I could do that for sure. Ironworks takes a quarter of the time of Marleybone. Yeah, Marleybone, Marleybone is super short. 24 hour lore master grind yeah i'd probably do like if i were to do like a lore master grind though for 24 hours it would definitely be when they have one of those uh limited spells on because they definitely buff the drop rates for spells it's so, like in a 24 hour period i could definitely get a lot of spells did i mess up the test of aptitude what's going on i could have sworn i lit these up Am I lagging again? Please don't tell me I... Okay. I thought I was gonna disconnect again. I'm about to get PTSD from anything that, like, seems like it's on the dialogue, on the little thing too long. I'm gonna, like... Have nightmare... I'm gonna have nightmares. My nightmares are literally gonna be filled of disconnecting now. Professional streamer PTSD. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What is this? Sun, tree, snake, beetle. Sun, tree, snake, beetle. That's true. The earlier you can get level 30, the easier it is to do things because you get damage boost from the gear and also other improvements. Wait, how many crafting slots do I have? I actually have both available, so I can actually 
before I leave Krakatopia for good, I can actually finish up the crafting before I leave. I have 14 lore spells and I use a solid two of them, yeah. I wish, I wish there was a way you could like enable which spell drops you want the possibility of. Like obviously that would lower the odds of you actually getting a spell, but then you wouldn't like spend hours farming for a spell and then get something that's like useless. Like for example, getting Deer Knight on a Storm Wizard. All right, Krakopatra, final boss of Krakatopia. Here we go, 1200 health boss. We're gonna use all of our buffs on Krakopatra. Finally finishing Croc. Only took us seven different days to do it. But to be fair, we spent three of those days literally fishing, so. Or, wait, is this, is this day seven or is this day, I already forgot. Oh yeah, that's because I, I had a day 3.5, which is why I, yeah. So this is the eighth like episode, but it's day seven. Yeah, fishing was super worth it. And we're gonna feel like the full effects of the fishing once I get the Master Artisan quest and I can actually make really good pets with some of the Mega Snacks I have. So for the for the Barracuda, um, Mason actually, Mason the Fishing King himself, he have a really good suggestion, you go to Northgard you winnow firefish and then you use the rank one like search for rank one fish spell and then if you see a fish that's oh my goodness i just lost like all my health good thing i'm killing after this turn because wow my 600 damage nearly killed me um but yeah so you, you use the rank one fish uh, find all rank one fish and then you any fish that's left will be a firefish, and if it's not rank one, it's more than likely a, a barracuda. Yeah, I got nuked by that, and I might... Okay, good. She's using sunbird. I don't think I... Actually, I don't know. If it hits high end, I might die. Please. Okay, good. Oh, a 28 health clutch. There we go. All right, we're going to take you out with a dark sprite. I could fizzle this. I could fizzle this. No, I didn't. Not today. Easy tank. I actually messed up. I should have packed storm shields because I'm facing two storm minions. Ooh, we got a master duel. Got a croc master duel. That's pretty good. All right. I definitely can't solo that, but I feel like I could Amazing. get some like ultra plants from that. You stop the tut army. You have done very I'm sorry. Beguile. This spell is apparently broken in team PVP. Even in turn based. Return to the surface and report your success. Like my brother does a ton of um he does a ton of the uh unrated uh I call it unrated. I'm playing so much Valorant. Um, practice 4v4. And like, it's really useful. We are the hero of Krakatopia. In fact, we go ahead and for now, you know, we are still a master caster for life, but you know, we just saved Krakatopia. So we gotta be the hero. And before I go to there, I'm gonna mark a location here. And craft these two last things. Don't forget to take it out. True. I have to do that as well.
to make sure I am crafting the right thing. Getting a membership this weekend so I can finally qu continue questing. Hey, there you go. Let's have a look at those athames. All right. William. We're about to be judged. Awesome. Apprentice crafter. Let's go. I recommend you speak to my old friend, Felicia Worthington in Marleybone. Felicia Worthington in Marleybone. Okay. So I'm going to really quickly talk to this guy to get my third potion bottle, but I think now we're going to go ahead and do some pet training. Bye, Felicia. Where's that from? Like, I've, I've been saying it, but like, because like my friends say it sometimes, but like, where's that originally from? Oh my goodness, my keyboard disconnecting. Everything's disconnecting. My internet's disconnecting. My keyboard. My brain. Um, did I get my... Yeah, I did. Okay. So, anyways, time to train this brand new gloomy eye that I got. Dragon Spire, I feel like it's hard because there's so many of those, like, things where you have to go to the top of a tower to to get, like, one thing. And, like, you have to do all these, like, minion battles just to get to the end. It's for sure a very grindy world. All right. Um, I actually did calculate before the stream started. Um, if I can find a lot of Shanta puddings in stock and find a good deal on them... Then I can get them for... I, I can get 27 Shanta Puddings to get this pet to adult. If not, then I can get... I have to get 32 Killer Tomatoes. So. Yeah, and they also have a thousand health, that's true. But then then again, like... Oh yeah, you also don't have your level 48 spell unless you've completed, like, Grizzleheim. Just sell some stuff. Wait, let me just make sure, because... Okay, I still have some killer tomatoes left over. I have to be careful about this. Someone actually told me last time, make sure you don't accidentally sell those. But let's go ahead. See if there's a lot of Shanta puddings in stock. I don't have enough energy to train it up. Oh, that that, that is true. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I should have... I should have spent time... Man, I should have spent time doing the uh training it and then like leveling up now i realize why i did it at the beginning of the stream the last the last stream unfortunate Let's see what's the best snack it doesn't look like there's any killer tomatoes how much so this is plus seven this is plus seven as well are all these just plus seven Yeah, I guess I'll just go for the cheapest. If they're all plus seven, that means I'm gonna need... Wow. I need like a lot of them, right? Oof, that's a lot. The fortified cheese in your shared bank? Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I do not want to accidentally sell them. There we go. I won't lose those now. What do I mean by budget? So I think I have it in the FAQ, but basically I'm not spending any any money on crowns. I'm just buying the memberships and also doing it like completely solo. So let's see. Go to that pavilion. Here's our new gloomy eye. I'll, I'll at least be able to get it to teen and see if it fails at teen, so. No, I don't, definitely don't want to skip game because then I won't be able to get get all the XP for the for completing the game. So 
Import me to Mirage to get the fortified bread. You know what? I feel like I might as well get like use the fortified bread because I only get four of them and just to save energy and maybe like get an adult hatch this stream i should probably go ahead and do that what realm am i in i'll check after this game yeah you can go to mirage because and then like just message or just let me know in chat then i'll i don't have to i don't have to win pet wait but like because see if, if i skip if i skip pet games it doesn't give me the xp like watch this I mean, I'll do it because it wastes two, but see, it gives plus zero. And I only get plus seven from the snack. And, like, in the long run, it'll be harder. What well, realm? We're in vampire right now. Yeah. I want the four XP. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. What level am I going to farm for couch potatoes? Um, probably... Once I get Deer Knight, I'll be able to farm a lot quicker, like... In... Like, I'll probably, like, do, thir like, 20, 30-minute runs each day, like, in Grizzleheim. But if I... If that doesn't seem like I can get any luck from that then I might just end up waiting until a later time. Because if I can't get couch potatoes, I can always still fish for it. Like, it's not like I have to wait for the fishing event to get blackberry jellyfish. I can always fish for them. Like, think about it this way. Since I don't have the couch potatoes, instead of spending my energy on gardening, I spend my energy on fishing and just crafting the mega snacks. Are we going till five? Yeah, probably gonna end up going till five. Yeah, if someone's in Mirage and wants to teleport me to the vendor that sells the, the fortified bread or whatever, the crafting recipe, then that would be appreciated. Although I think I do need a card crafting station as well, so I have to buy that from the bazaar, I think. I could do that, but that's also going to use up like all of my all like the rest of the time if I just create a new wizard. So and like I don't want uh, another thing with like creating a new wizard to level it up. Uh, I don't want someone to teleport me to Mushu because I think that would be a little bit out of out of line. So. Oh, it only takes the basic crafting. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's great. So I won't have to go and buy another crafting station. How do you craft mega snacks? You take the blackberry jellyfish that you can easily fish for from the arrow village and then you craft it. You buy the recipe from Shazam and you have to be a master artisan or higher. But this specific snack that I'm crafting right now, this is from the, uh, the pet promenade which recently ended. Oh, level so I can train pet on the new wizard. Um, see, I don't want to, like, no, because I don't want to create a new wizard right now. I want to keep on, I want to spend all the questing time to try to get one max wizard first. Because the faster I can get one max wizard, the faster I can start making, start, like, getting pets and things like that to make life easier for the second wizard. It won't let me message you because you're in pet games. Oh, you're in Mirage? Okay. All right, I'm coming by in just a second. Let me just feed this snack. <sighs> All right. Um, so I'll mark a location right here. What's your in-game name again, Bone? Let's see, I, I can probably get more info from here. 
See who's a level 130. Full wastes. Hunter Nightfish. Abandoned house. Donna do no, it's not this. Flint fire pants. Let's see. There you are. Oh, it is ruble waste. Okay. I mean, I have no idea, so. Oh, looks like I have not been to Mirage very recently. Not even very recently, I guess. Just since installing Wiz on this computer. Is this the guy? Alright, so let's see. What's the recipe? Oh my goodness, that scared me for a second. I, I remember I put my fortified cheese in the shared bank, but I need eight fortified bread. How expensive is it? Okay, only 250. That, I, that legitimately scared me for a second. Can I port to you for that vendor? Sure, I'll turn on teleports for now. I'll actually leave them on since I'm not uh, questing anymore for the rest of the stream. Uh, it's privacy, right? Yes. Can the bread be sold in the bazaar? I think it can. I don't see why it wouldn't. Because it's, I mean, it, you, if you can buy it from a vendor, then it more, more than likely can be sold. Uh, I do have teleports open, so. Gotta leave the stream. Hope you don't have any more pro moments. Thank you so much, Nasharoni and Cheese, for joining the stream. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. And I also hope I don't have any more pro moments. Got to catch the stream live, Pog. Yep, I'm actually streaming for a little bit longer today because of some unfortunate circumstances which happened earlier, but yeah, we are live for a little bit longer today. Yeah, it can be sold. All right, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go home now and craft these. Why don't I buy more bread? Because I only have f four fortified cheese, so I only bought enough bread. Um... Oh no, am I really lagging out again? No. Please, am I good? Hello? 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 Oh my god, that scared me, bro. I keep getting trolled now. Okay. Let's <sighs> do. Getting trolled. All right, one, two, three. Oh wait, how long is the cooldown? One hour cooldown? Okay, I'm only gonna have two, I guess. Wow. One hour, that's right. Wait, so yeah, so once I craft the golden wheat bread, I also won't have instantly 100 mega snacks. It's probably also a really long cooldown for that as well. Huh. Now he might have to stream till 6. <sighs> I don't know. Alright. Still gonna keep up with this though. It's 25 minutes? Oh, with the golden wheat bread? Okay. Uh, and also, by the time I get to golden wheat bread, I'm pretty sure I'll have a lot more crafting slots available. You can craft seven every 25 minutes. Yeah, you get like a lot of crafting slots. Okay, so like for the golden wheat bread, once I get to that level where I can start crafting that, um, that'll be good because it's much more reasonable. What level will I start teaching basic PvP? Level 30, because level 30 is where you can start getting good enough gear, in my opinion, to be able to compete to the point where crowns gear is not the only way to win stuff but it's most likely just gonna be like tournaments and stuff but because I, I don't think i want to do ranked at level 30 i might we'll see plus 40 not gonna be able to experience that on this account much for now but yeah you also that, that, that is also yeah you need a really good pet for ranked so i'm probably gonna avoid ranked for now it's gonna be mainly tourneys and also like pvp outside of pvp ranked you don't like i'm not really missing out on anything from doing ranked in terms of like pve stuff 
For arena tickets, though, like I could get the fishing gear, which is I consider I will consider that PVE stuff. So that's why I will show how to do tourneys to get arena tickets and get those, obviously. But let's see, spellproof. There we go. Got spellproof right away on this pet. Why don't I craft all the grilled cheese? I only have two crafting slots right now, and um, the cooldown for the crafting slot is one hour, so I won't be able to craft more. Will I show how to win tourneys or just tourneys? I'm 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 gonna try to show you how to win them. I'm not gonna just because you also can't roll the chest anymore. Um, they got rid of that feature, so I I'm obviously gonna have to try to win in order to get a lot of tickets. I already have better luck in pets than me. I, f I feel like I just like you just have to make sure you have a clean pool. Using a clean pet is usually the easiest way to get a decent pet. How do I get more crafting slots? You get them from doing crafting quests. Yeah, I definitely won't be able to get an adult pet this stream. Did I disconnect? My goodness. Dude, now Wiz is trolling me, bro. They know I have PTSD from that, and now they're trying to trigger it. I'd rather have four fails at Mega than make more hatches. See, for this series, like, I won't have a Mega pet anytime soon, but, like, I'm probably not going to train a pet past Ancient, because if I can get... Pain giver, death dealer, and spell proof as three talents at ancient. Like getting some, something like spell defying and death giver on top of that won't make a huge difference. So I might as well just let the pet train out on its own through questing. I got spell proof at teen. Same thing that happened to the other pet. Um, but I'm I also am going to do at least one more hatch before I decide to take a pet to ancient. because I think there's like some talents that I still want in the pool. And also I have the ability to increase some of the stats. My pet on my storm is a guarantee fail at Mega in terms of triple double. Is it because you don't have one of the talents in the pool? Yeah, that, that's why I don't really train pets until, until I have all the talents in the pool. Gardening purple grapes of wrath after I start gardening. I'll look into it For now I might start with uh, the pink dandelions because I think I actually got a couple of those from Krakatopia and I heard they give good treasure cards Aries in Olympus drops a quick learner jewel That would be pretty good to have for an ancient pet. So yeah I'll probably socket that I guess kind of pet is that? It's the Gloomy Eye. So the reason I chose this pet is for the Colossal Frog spell and the additional Death Blade. Of course I remember you, Windhome Slice. You're one of my OG viewers. All y'all are my OG viewers. But yeah, the stream today is going a little bit longer because of some stuff that happened earlier. How many subs do I have? Um, I can check. Twenty subs today. Thank you so much, all twenty of you. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and thank you to all the subs. And also earlier in the stream, um, we had. I'm just tr trying to remember the. Taglia Tail gifted 1500 bits earlier today. Thank you, Wraithman147, for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. I'm doing first arc in a day starting right now. Wish me luck. Yo, good luck, dude. First arc in a day. That's That's going to be a grind, but good luck with that.
long as first arc take probably not as long as i'm making it out to be um it's just that early on there was some really good limited time events that i wanted to take advantage of so that's why like i'm only in crocotopia after like a little over a week but what's the fastest person so someone in, in one of my youtube videos when i was announcing this series said that they were able to speed run the entire game in like 72 hours total time played like obviously they took breaks in between so it took like a few days to actually do it but in terms of like the actual time spent in the game they said 72 hours pink dealing oh the pink dealing doesn't give good tc all right I'll, I'll look into the the grapes of wrath then MMO Wizmaster did a character from 0 to 130 in 51 hours. Wow. I'm going to have to look that one. I'm going to have to look that up. That's crazy. The most Wiz I've played like in one sitting has to be like 8 hours. Thank you, Susie Alman, for following. That's weird. It it made like a, a sound. I I, cu I couldn't read what it said. I think I think I just missed an important thing on the side, and I can't even see what it said. But I do see that Susie Alman, twenty one. Thank you so much for following. Welcome. My stream, I need to get a better secondary monitor because I have a really low res secondary monitor and it's hard to, because I want the chat on it as well, but I also have all like the, the streaming things like, you know, starting stream, making sure my connection's good with the stream. So like the actual screen to see, to like read out if like the notification pops up at the top, it's hard to see. Also, thank you NP, thank you no problem for the follower for following. <laughs> Your name is literally no problem for the follower. <laughs> That's funny. Me and this ice wizard did all of Zafari in a day, and I literally mean 24 hours. Like... The whole first arc from levels like level one to for, to Zafaria, really, dude. People are insane. Uh oh, what happened? Did my stream go away? I hope I'm good. Oh no, people are saying F. Oh, I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I'm going to I'm going to call my ISP. I've said that like a million times, but pulling around 100 consistently per stream. Yeah, I mean th thank you everyone for like consistently coming to the streams. I I really do appreciate it. Um like I know like most of the people are from from YouTube. So, thank you to everyone that like you know, is constantly supporting by watching all the content. And I am going to, I'm not, I'm going to not forget about, you know, where it all started from. Because this all started from the tutorial videos I made. So I don't want to just, like, forget about those tutorials. Because I, I do have some more that I am planning on um, making. So, and, uh, yeah. And yeah, that is true. Um, if you do want to tune into future streams, uh, you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, it's completely free and you can enable notifications. So like if you have the mobile app or like if you have like your email or whatever, you get a notification for whenever I go live. But in case you do want to know when I stream, I do have the a little like if you scroll down a little bit, it shows my streaming schedule. But it's 2 to 4 p.m. five days a week, Monday through Thursday plus Saturday. 
2 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Today I'm going longer because stuff that came up, but... Oh, the mobile app. Yeah, the mobile app is it is kind of laggy. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's all I can train this pet for today. Uh, you know, I'm probably actually going to equip this pet from now on because uh, both of them give 3% resist. Yeah, I'm going to go put baby Samson in my house so I don't accidentally equip it because at this point, since they give the same stat... Oh, wait, I can't do that because... I still need the, the the spell card for the the frog, so I can't. Dude, I smell pasta. I think my mom made pasta for my uh, as like birthday thing. So hungry right now. Do I go to school? Yeah, well, I, I go to college right now. Um, I just finished my first two semesters, and in August, I'm going to start my third semester, second year. Well, I should be careful about selling stuff. What the heck went home? <laughs> Do I go to college? Yeah. You're starting next year in computer science? Yo, same. I, I'm also studying computer science. I've really loved computers since I was, like, little. And, like, programming and stuff. And, like, I like the hardware and software aspect, so... Um, I'm majoring in computer science and engineering, so... Yeah, it is, it is, like, it's a lot of math. The hard part is that it's, it's a ton of math. And you have to be really sure that you like doing it. I really love it. So, like, if you really like it, you'll love it, but if you kind of don't like it, you'll probably end up hating it. You have to make sure you're really committed to it. What am I even doing? I should, like, I still have, like, some time left, and I can't train the pet, but I guess I'll do some more questing for eight minutes, so. Oh, your friend killed the hardware enjoyment? Um, is that because of like the like the circuits and logic boards and and like diagrams and all that stuff because I do see your point on that That stuff can be really confusing Stats is so cursed Oh like like yeah statistics yeah, I, I really like stats um because like it it made me like think about like how experiments are performed to like prove something a lot more carefully how old am i i'm 20 years old what are you doing html so i took a computer science class in high school and i learned java and this past semester i learned python but for now like the thing with college is like for your first your first couple like your first few semesters you're not going to be doing a whole lot of computer science it's going to be mainly like the gen eds and like stuff like that so i'm probably only taking one computer one or two computer science classes per semester we want to big man language of c plus plus yeah i definitely it's probably going to be like my next language that i try learning because c plus plus is like i heard it's like it's a lot better for like modern applications than java so I should probably get the quest from Prospector Zeke while I'm doing this. I study physics and math. Yeah, f physics and math, those are really good if you do want to do computer science. Um, but of course, you don't have to go into computer science. There's also there's also other like, like engineering specifically like requires a lot of like math and stuff. So. Did I get my pet to adult? No, because I don't have enough energy to get it to adult. It's gotten to teen. It's going to be adult next stream. So what the next stream, what I'm going to do, I still I, I will do some pet training early on because um, I completely forgot. Like, I just, after realizing that I can't get this pet to adult this stream, I realized why I did it early on last stream. And that's because, you know, when you level up, you get the free energy. So, yeah, we do have channel points. I didn't really, like mess around with channel points so i will like modify that but yeah 
It requires a lot of Google search. True. Stack, what is it, like Stack Overflow? That's where you go and like go uh, type in all your questions for computer science. Still needs an emote. I sent an emote. Um, it has to be approved though, because I just did the whole like emote submission stuff this morning. All right, Sherlock Bones. Stack Overflow, yeah. That's like if you're doing computer science and you're thinking about going into it, Stack Overflow is the best. You'll love it. And yeah, it's, it's actually like. I saw like a meme on Reddit where it's like what people think computer science is and it shows like, you know, one of those like, uh, those like meme videos where like a guy wearing sunglasses is like furiously typing and like there's like all this like, like from the movies how like it shows all the code come up in green, but then like it says what it actually is and then it just shows like a guy searching up on Google. It's so funny. you show your other character in your main accounts? Um, I'll do that at the end. Like, as I'm, like, closing off or whatever. By the way, um, I will be raiding another streamer today, so... If you do want to watch more Wiz content, I will be raiding someone after the stream. That is happening. Raid Blake? Today, uh, I raided Blake yesterday. Today I'm gonna raid another streamer that's really helped me out a lot. So, Sauce is doing pirate. Yeah, so I've raided Sauce and Blake already. Oh my goodness, I forgot. This pulls you right into the battle. I, I completely forgot about this. But yeah, I raided Sauce one day. I raided Blake. Today I'm gonna raid. I'm gonna try to raid people, uh, different people on different days. I can sign out. That's fine. Oh wait. Oh yeah, you're right. I can. I can like. I know what you mean now, by signing out. I don't have to do the battle. That is true. There's actually a lot of stuff that you can just sign out of for like these early worlds where it'll like pull you into battle, but you don't have to do it. Wait, do I have my, which pet do I have equipped? Okay, good, I have my teen gloomy eye equipped. If I'm not doing battles, then I should probably have that pet equipped just to get some XP out of it. Is it, it's Michael? Um, I don't think he's streaming right now, but uh, Michael streams on YouTube, but Michael, the, the person I'm talking about, like, that I'm going to stream, um, it's not Michael because he's not streaming on Twitch, but Michael has helped me out. Um, in fact, of any, like, of all the content creators in this game, Michael's helped me out since day one, pretty much. Like, when I, after I uploaded that Couch Potatoes guide, um, I, I, that, like, I've been thinking about doing that pet copying guide since pretty much I made that Couch Potatoes video, and, like, you know, I've been asking for Michael with, like, all his help, like, for input and feedback on like what I should do and like he's been there since day one like even like when I was like when I had like a, I had no subs basically I had no no one watching my content I asked him and like you know I was basically a nobody and like uh and you know I, I talked to Michael and like he was totally willing to help me out even though like I had nothing to show for myself so what happened Pet fill that mega with mana. No. Lucky. Can I get an F in the chat for happy on Twitch, guys? Let's get let's get some Fs in the chat for that. Moment of silence. Thank you for this moment of silence. I hope you don't have any more pet fails. Oh, I forgot my Colossal Frog. Can Dark Sprite kill? Maybe. Oh, I don't have to fight mobs for this quest? Alright, let's dip then. Okay, I should probably pay attention. Uh, the ones where I don't have to that's right dude I hate this glitch like if you log out sometimes it just glitches your quest arrow 
All right, let's do this last quest and then I think I'll call it for today. I'll go to the commons and like anyone that like asked me for help for stuff earlier this stream, um, I will be there. Dude, I can't, I, where am I even going? I can't tell because of this quest arrow. I'm going to West Safe House. I need to go to the paw print teleporter. If I log out again, it fixes it. Okay. Sometimes when you log out, you have to be careful because it'll just, it'll force you to completely relaunch the client. All right, let's go to paw print rat house. So I'm going to go to the commons at the end of the stream. Um, add some people that were like asking for help and then like and then like help them off stream so level and train pet to adult and the stream um i don't know because like because Hmm. What town does it have as spell proof right now? And I totally. F what am I doing? I can just get out. I keep forgetting. I need to pay attention. South safe house. How how close am I to leveling up? We'll see. If I. Um. Yeah, I'm more than one quest away from leveling up, so I think I'll I'll probably wait till tomorrow. I don't need to stick the deadline. It'll only be five minutes or so. All right. You know what? We'll we'll get the pet to adult. How about that? We'll get the pet to adult, and then I'll end off. <laughs> I'm convinced him to show. There we go. <laughs> this rate might as well give us the 24 hour stream. Nah. In the future, we'll see, but for now, nah. We're too spoiled. Nah, y'all have been an amazing chat. Despite all of the awful issues in today's stream everyone's been sticking around the entire time so i do appreciate it and i have to give it to y'all 24 hours comes at 5k on youtube we'll see we'll see professional stream yeah it was a very very unfortunately very professional stream today Oh, that is true. That is true. If I if I'm like really close, I can do that, but I do have to be conservative with my gold though. But yeah, pet pet breadcrumbs is a free way to do it. All right, Willie Marks. Do I level up? Yes, I do. Okay, you know what? Yeah, not bad. I'll level up after this quest and then train it to adult. What a pathetic excuse for an You tried to you mega a pet using only breadcrumbs? Dang. That's some dedication. I should fish once a week to replenish my gold if I ever do get low. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, you gave up? How far did you get with it? What? At what point did you stop? That would cost a that would that would cost a lot of gold. Oh, you got it to oh to adult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was I was expecting <laughs> I was expecting you were gonna say something like epic or ancient. But you know, I mean, that's still dedication. You know, adult is still what 375, right? <laughs> Bro, it takes too long. I got mine to ancient using mostly breadcrumbs. Yeah, it's 
It's not a bad method, because breadcrumbs, they do have a high chance to give you the XP. If I had a macro, I'd do it overnight for it. Ooh. But, but then again, like, eventually you'd run out of gold, though. Right? So... I watch streams like Farrakh while on Wiz with it windowed. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's what a lot of people do. Because, like, it's nice to have, like, something in the background on while you're playing this game. Oh, it's only 500 gold? I thought it was, like, 1,000 gold for a breadcrumb pack. All right, Willie Marks. Now why? Farming couch potatoes and Mason. How many breadcrumbs? There, it, there's not an exact number of breadcrumbs it takes because it's not like a 100% chance. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is, but I feel like with seven breadcrumbs, you get two to three pet XP per breadcrumb pack there we go Ooh. we also get a spell uh, is it skeletal pirate it's i think it's skeletal pirate all right i'll mark a location right here oh i lost my that's fine i can just go home the 33 percent chance yeah sounds about right skeletal pirate there we go dang now i actually have a spell that i can like See, but here's the thing with Skeletal Pirate. They really did that. Like, it's such a cool... I think it's, like, a really cool animation for it, by the way. For, like, an old spell. But they really did Skeletal Pirate dirty, like, with the whole Headless Horseman thing. Don't I have work? Not today. I don't have work today. I have work tomorrow. Big tip. Yeah. Fe yeah, that, that's right. Um, Feeding um breadcrumbs during double pet XP is really, really good. Okay, there we go. But yeah, they really like Headless Horseman for four pips. It does what? It does like 520 or 530 base damage. It's base damage for less pips does more than the highest damage for more pips. All right, let's go finish training this pet to it. Yeah, 530 to 590. It's like 10 more damage than Kraken per end. Oh, the skeleton part in the Chinese version is different. That's right. I do still have my chestnut pony and proud lion. It's just that I got this from the Scroll of Fortune for free. So I'm using it because it was Crocotopia themed. I don't know. Should I stop using it now that I'm not in Crocotopia? Because it's a little bit big and in the way. But if you think it's cool, I'll still use it. All right, let's see here. Should have enough snacks to train this pet. Don't use it? Yes, yes. When you're saying yeah, do you mean... Okay, yeah, don't use it. Okay. Alright. Also, the spiral showcase stuff? Yeah, I'll probably do that. The spiral showcase... Um, If I do miss out one day, it's fine because um, to get the Professor's Horde Pack, you only need to do five days worth of stuff. And it's technically like seven days worth of stuff because, and this is something that I'll explain in like a quick, quick tips video. Um, but the way King's Isle's events work is that the reset thing for the actual things that you need to do resets at 12 a.m. Central Time, but the actual event doesn't end up going away until like 11 a.m. or something like that. Use it. Still in Vampire. Uh, I'm not sure it switches auto. I've been disc. I've been like having to log out. So I'm probably not in vampire right now Oh it exists as a pet in the American version. Oh okay. You think the lines better? Yeah, I mean I do want to use a line I I spent a lot of time fishing to try to get it so I will use it Wait, after this game, I'm, I forgot how much XP am I at? Because if I can just skip games, I might as well do it just to 
save a little bit of time. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I was like, why is that bar so big? <laughs> I was looking at the chat while doing this and like... Bro, why didn't you say anything? <laughs> Pepega, dude, uh, is Pepega? I, I don't. I have to figure out how to enable those emotes. Like, I enabled better Twitch TV, but I need to know. I need to figure out how to like play, uh, enable some of the other emotes. Like, I want to enable Keck W and Pepega. Those are the two emotes that I really want that I don't have enabled. Yeah, I know it's Franker faces, but I, like, um, I like, I don't, like, I couldn't figure out how to get it enabled. Like, I looked it up and like, I couldn't find like a clear way. Like on Franker faces on the extension and like in Twitch, I clicked like the little cowboy hat icon thing on the top right. But like, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it after. It was like right right as the stream was about to start, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to check it out. So, first world is nearly done. There you go. At least I didn't accidentally delete a free hatch elixir. True. Yeah, I imagine I accidentally, like, yesterday when I did the free hatch thing, I right-clicked it. I should put the fortified cheese in bank, you're not wrong. Bro. For next stream, I'm gonna try to. Well, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna call my ISP. I'm gonna to try to see if I can get this internet thing fixed. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna add like the more commands to Nightbot. I'm gonna. I t I tuned down Nightbot's whole because like at the beginning, at the very beginning of the stream, Nightbot was like timing people out for caps, which I don't mind. Um, so I quickly I was able to change that real quick. But yeah, let's see. So, 46 left. Dude, I don't even have enough snacks left at this point to do it without uh, playing out the minigame. Actually, hold on. Uh, four, seven, seven times. I probably do. Wait, hold on. Let's see. How many do I have? I have 11, and I get seven per snack, so I might as well skip it, right? Right? Okay. Let's skip it. If it gets defied, that would be helpful, but I really hope it gets Death Dealer. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Alright. Okay, hold on. Before I do this, can I get some Pog Champs in the chat, some Craygasms in the chat for good luck? One other streamer that I've seen does this. His chat spams Pog Champs and Craygasms, and that ends up helping it out. Those two specific emotes. So some Pog Champs, some Craygasms in the chat. We get Death Dealer. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look at that. Six resist. Easy. Ten total resist now. I only take 90% damage from spells now. There we go. 
That's awesome. Now, now, like, that talent is strengthened for future hatches. And actually, I obviously want to go and check for... What was it? Spell proof and death dealer. Let's actually do a hatch before I close this out here. Just as a backup for now. But honestly, I'm probably going to train this new pet as well. Just because... I spoke it into existence, but this has a different pool though, so I'm not going to hatch with this one. There we go, dude. That's that's a great pet to have. Oh, nope. Let's see. I want to get one that has a similar talent pool because I don't remember the exact pet that I hatched with. It was, uh, it was like what? Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Yeah, I got really lucky with the numbers. Although the black cat that I had, the pet that I hatched with, does have pretty high numbers to start with. But I did get really lucky that the numbers went up very fast. It isn't quite enough for 10 dealer. So if I could get 10 dealer with this next hatch, that would be awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crowns cost. You're trying to get me to spend crowns on this? No. Ooh. This one has Mighty in the pool. But nah, a, De a Defy Jewel is really hard to get for me, so I'd rather have Defy than Mighty. I should just search the gloomy eyes. People make triples. All right, I'll do that. Go with gloomy eye. And in fact, I can probably search for, I think it's like what? It's the, the 39 pedigree ones that have all the, the juicy stuff. So I'm at 39 pedigree right now for manifested. Yeah, wow, this pet is popular. That number is not going down. There's a lot of 39 manifested. Oh, this is the one I just saw. Here, I know there was one that I hatched with yesterday. Let me just really quickly... Uh, what was it? Let me check. What time did I hatch yesterday? It must have been early, right? I used the free hatch elixir. Right at the beginning, right? Or no, I did not. Did I use it at the beginning? I'm trying to check. I use it at the end? Okay, let's see here. Was it at the end? Oh, I see it. It's like, I see, or I see Grumpy Gobblers right here. This is where I must have used it. It was in the middle. It was like towards the one hour mark. Yeah, that's right. Let's see what pet did I hatch with. Okay, yeah, next hatch free elixir. I do see that. I'm almost there, don't worry. Try not to spend too much time looking for this. Let's see. Almost there. Uh, okay, the pet's name was Elvis. It had 32 pedigree. Elvis. We're looking for Elvis with 32 pedigree, so we got quite a ways to go. Thirty-two, right? Did I say thirty-two or thirty-three? Thirty-two. jitter clicking right now not very good at it but okay we're getting close now so i'll slow down a little bit oh let's go back beginning all right dexter all right elvis i'm looking for the name elvis there is of course a chance that it's just not here so oh this is it this is the pet we hatched. Whoa! Look at that cost! It's only 45,000! Bear confirmed Minecraft PvP God? Yeah. Bro, this is so cheap! How is it so cheap? It was like 100,000 or something like that, right? And it's full 2.0, bro. Let's cop that. Hey!
Six hour hatch though. <gasps> it even gained some talents from the pool, I think. Yes. Um, hold on. Is Death Giver below Death Dealer? Because we might have all the talents in the pool already. Let me check. Uh, Wizard 101. What was it? I had the book. I have it bookmarked. It's the Wizard 101 pet hatching Project O's data. Yeah, I will train it at the start of next stream for sure. Uh, so I don't have to do what I did this stream. But let's look up Death Dealer. Death Dealer. Wait, why can I not find- oh yeah, because I have to- Why is it not working? Death. Bro, this is so scuffed. Alright, control F. Death. Oh, that's because I'm unsimplified. Oh, they started updating it again, I think. Why can I not find Death Dealer? Because I need a, a, a colon? There we go. I think I found it. Yep, there we go. Alright, Death Dealer is 187 to 196. What about Death Giver? Death Giver is 192. So yeah, Death Giver is below Death Dealer. Um, so that means this right here is Death Giver. This is Death Dealer. This is Spell Proof. This is Spell Defying. This is Pain Giver. Uh, might be mad. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime sub on me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I will try to edit this for the video. It might be lower quality because I have to download the Twitch VOD. But yeah, I do stream this from 2 to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday, including Saturday. And the VODs are later uploaded on YouTube. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we will continue questing in Marleybone. We will start off by training the pet. Uh, I love you, Windhome Slice. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.